All right, hello everyone. We're live here with the Chow Garden series. Got a whole new layout from uh, the last stream. Hope you all like it. It's uh, a little bit different than what it looked like before. Hopefully a little bit, uh, you know, more professional looking, I hope. Uh, I got the chat on screen finally, so uh, make sure you're behaving in chat. Cause if you are uh, acting up, I will uh, definitely be muting some people, so. Make sure you're uh, acting uh, responsible there in chat. But, uh, everyone's nice to see all of you. See Baseball, Dawes, Kenzie, Fui. See Raiden, Ramen. Hey, everyone. Zesty. Hey, Kenzie. And it looks like I'm in the wrong Chara Garden. I keep getting it mixed up because I've switched it around a couple times. Let's get up to that hero garden. Hey, William. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope uh, hope you're doing well. Hey, Bubbly Pink Cat. We got some new names. Logan Smith, Bubbly. Don't know you. Zesty. Thanks for uh, checking out the stream. Hope uh, you enjoy your time here. We got... Whoa, we got a whole bunch of people I don't recognize. Oh my gosh. Dries plays Artem. Hey, everyone. Bone the Cat. It's uh, a whole group of new people here, so... Okay, that's cool, William. Hope you have a good shift at work. But um, this part, we got some serious raising to do. Willie and Astro, we've kind of been uh, neglecting here to uh, child that reincarnated in the first place. Uh, where did they even go? I also turned on some new cheat codes. One added like extra chow details, so I'm curious to kind of see uh, how that ends up looking. Hey, Thanatos. Hope you're doing well. Also, for. Oh, Dawes becoming a Chaos Chow member! Oh my gosh, thank you, Dawes. I saw you in the Discord talking about uh, doing that. Thank you, Dawes. Here, let me add you to the uh, the name of awesome channel members. Thank you so much for uh, becoming a Chaos Chow member. And now you are a Chaos Chow member, make sure you check out the community section on my channel. I currently have a uh, members-only poll going right now for... Uh, oh, my game just completely blacked out there. Oh. Oh, my game freeze. <laughs> I think my game might have froze already. I think the the new channel member and Fui's $5 super chat have uh, completely frozen my game. Let's see. Yeah, I think we uh, we lost the game. Rip. Rip in peace. We lost Sonic Adventure 2. All right, let me uh, try and get it back going. But thank you, Fui. Thank you, Dawes, so much for uh, joining the channel. Thank you. You guys both rock. So let me quickly uh, just add to Fui's total here. But um, I do have some slightly cha new changes to the memberships since uh, the last stream. So you can see in the top left there uh, the new member tiers. It's still Adult and Chaos Chow, but uh, there's a slight difference to the tiers now. There's no more Baby Chow. And uh, now the Adult, or uh, sorry, the Chaos Chow members get access to exclusive polls that will determine what uh, games we're playing. So right now, uh, there was a poll yesterday. It's already pretty much done, though, because uh, Pokemon's already, like, won the poll. But uh, the next series we will be doing is a Pokemon Nuzlocke, which I am super excited for. For anyone that doesn't uh, know what that is, it's basically Pokemon, but if your Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. So it makes you uh, have to think a little bit more strategically and really plan out the game. So I'm really excited for that. That series will be coming, I think, sometime this weekend will probably be the first stream. Oh, yeah, update the mirror goal. Thank you, baseball. Nearly forgot that. <laughs> it's, hard. it's a little bit harder having a fancy stream. There's a whole bunch of stuff I got to update regularly. So once we hit 30 members, it'll be a four-hour chow stream. Is it going to be randomized? Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't think so. I think the first Nuzlocke I do, I'll keep just kind of, uh, like, just regular... So far, Pokemon Platinum is winning for the Nuzlocke, so if any of you want a say in what game the Nuzlocke is, consider becoming a Chaos Chow member. Dawes, you'll have a direct vote there. Yeah, if you go on the community channel, Dawes, or the community section on my channel, sorry, um, you'll see the vote for the Nuzlocke. So Pokemon already won, but now I've, uh, for the Chaos Chow members, I'm allowing them to vote on what game we're actually Nuzlocking. So I believe the three options I picked were Fire Red, uh, Pokemon Platinum, and Pokemon Heart Gold. So... Get your votes in. Last I checked, Platinum was winning. So if you do want Heart Gold, uh, make sure to become a member and vote. Or if you already are a channel or a Chaos Chow member, just make sure to use your vote. But um, I'm like really excited for that series. So I think that'll probably be starting this weekend. Is kind of my plan. I think there'll be another stream on either Friday or Saturday. I'm not totally sure. 
but uh, that's what the plan is there. So Pokemon uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke will be the next uh, main series. There'll still be Chow, and there'll still be uh, Stardew Valley, but uh, Pokemon will be added to the mix also. So I'm pretty excited for that. Sorry to wake you up, Astro. Just wanted to quickly check. Oh my gosh, what is what is going on with Astro? Oh my gosh, do you see those eyes? What the? Astro's got like the happy eyes, but they just look really kind of completely whited out. Oh my gosh, Astro, that was like mildly horrifying. <laughs> Who's the starter for the series? I don't know. I think that's something I'll probably decide during the stream. I'll probably take a lot of input from the viewers. I'll probably do like a vote or something. So uh, I think ROM hacks are something I will definitely do in the future. Uh, ROM hacks think would be a lot of fun. Uh, the Pokemon in the Nuzlocke will be uh, suggested by the channel members. So if there are no channel members in the stream, I'll let just regular viewers pick. But if you want to say in the names uh, for the Pokemon in the Nuzlocke, Make sure to become a channel member, because I will definitely uh, take your name suggestions over the rest of the viewers. Nothing against the regular viewers. It's still cool. I still appreciate uh, you watching and hanging out, but uh, the members do have a little bit uh, more special priority. Who was the first Chow? Uh, the first Chow in this series was uh, Astro and... Uh, I'm blanking on the name right now for some reason. Astro and... Willy? So here's Astro. Astro is just sleepy. I'll maybe leave the garden real quick so Astro can go back to sleep. Oh yeah, your art. I completely forgot. Yes, I was planning to show your art. Um, I'll pull it up here at some point, uh, baseball. I forgot to prepare it, but yes, we do have some art to show off in this stream. I think someone else had some fan art too that I wanted to show off, but I definitely wanted to show yours, baseball. Oh yes, I also have one from Emerald, I believe. Oh, and... Uh, we got some art here. Okay, give me a second here. I'll maybe I'll go do a quick chow race, and while the chow are racing, I will uh, set up the art on stream because I forgot to prepare it. But yes, there will definitely be some art here. We'll be showing off in uh, just a moment. So let's quickly go to do some races. What kind of chow is Galaxy going to evolve into? Galaxy right now is leaning towards a hero run. I think that's probably what we'll end up sticking with for uh, Galaxy. Yeah, the layout is different, uh, Bone. It's uh, hopefully a little bit uh, better looking. I like having the chat on the stream there, so. Oh yeah, I saw your art, LC Sonic, too. I really liked your art. Okay, let me, um, let's see, what race should we do? Let's do a jewel race, sure. Let's get uh, one of our better chow in there. Let's go Nova, surprisingly, hasn't won a jewel race. They don't have any kind of a uh, badge or nothing, kind of metal. So let's see. Let's see if Nova can beat out level 5 of the Topaz race. And while Nova is doing that, I will make sure I can get your all of your fan art show in here. So give me one second here. Yeah, I, I liked the art you did, Sonic LC. I liked what you drew of uh, the uh, my profile picture. <laughs> I really liked it. It's a haunting image. <laughs> I hope you all like the... Uh, the uh, new profile picture. I think it's pretty, uh, pretty funny. I really like it. Okay, so here's the first art. Oh my, it's big. Took up the whole stream layout. Oh, and I just accidentally dragged it off the stream. Whoops. <laughs> okay, let me redo that here. So Nova off to a somewhat decent start there, just running. Hopefully Nova can win this. We'll see. Might be kind of tight. Nova's not the fastest runner. Nova's best uh, stat is power, which sadly is like probably the least useful stat, I think, of all of them. So, okay, let me pull this up again. We got baseball, the cat's art here, or just baseball. Let's start off with this. So here's some lovely art they did. Let me not try and cover up the game too much. Uh, let me get nice and small. So there's baseball's art. I believe that was of Nova, if I'm remembering right. It's a little bit hard for me to see because it's even smaller for me on the screen than it is for you guys. But there's Baseball's fan art. I think that's really nice. You can't really see the chat on screen you're watching on a 65-inch TV. <laughs> okay, I'll try and I'll try and figure out the layout. I don't know if there's too much I'll be able to do for this stream because I don't really want to uh, mess around with it too much. I'd rather kind of focus on the game for now. But um, I'll, for the next stream, I'll try and uh, make sure it's a little bit better, I guess. I think I mostly have it just so that you guys can actually see that like I'm seeing your chat and that uh, your messages are actually being looked at there. So Nova's just crushing this race. Good job, Nova. Service Baseball is awesome art. We got some from Vivian Everburn. Oh no, for some reason it's sideways. Let's see, can I rotate it? Oh no. 
Okay, I can't rotate it right now, but here's some art from, uh, I believe they're, uh, I don't know if they're here in the stream. I thought I, oh yeah, ice flavored emeralds. There they are. I'm pretty sure that's David Everburn. So they did some nice pictures of Sapphire. It's kind of sideways right now. Let's see, can I, oh yeah, I can fix it. There we go. So there's a picture that, uh, ice, uh, what was their new name again? It used to be Vivian Everburn, but now it's ice flavored emeralds, I believe is their, uh, username. So there's the art that they did. Yeah, all of your guys' art's been awesome. Baseball, thank you for your art. Thank you, LC Sonic. Thank you, uh, Emerald. You guys have uh, done some great art. I've been uh, really impressed with everything you guys have come up with. Let's try Race to Azur. Azur is super fast, so the uh, run, like only running race should be pretty easy for Azur. So yeah, there's Emerald's art. And I'll pull up the next one I wanted to show. LC Sonic, I think I'll probably show yours during the next video because uh, I don't have your art actually saved on my computer at the moment. Oh, and it's still sideways, oh my. Okay, so this one was done by X Star. I don't think I've seen them in the chat here today, but uh, they drew a little picture of Ruby. So there's some nice artwork uh, from them. 30 people here. I don't actually have the, uh, the amount of people in the stream open in front of me right now. I uh, decided the chat was a little bit more important to have uh, open. But yeah, thank you everyone for showing up for the stream. This is uh, apparently a pretty big stream if there's 30 people here. So thank you everyone. If you haven't given the stream a like yet, please consider doing so. It really helps out uh, the channel. So really appreciate it. If you can't become a member or a you know, super chat, liking is a really, uh, really helpful way that you can also help out. So thank you. But yeah, thank you Dawes for becoming, becoming a Chaos Chow member. The uh, first uh, member game night will be happening sometime soon. I gotta kind of plan it around my like school right now and uh, find times that like I can actually play games with my members. You know, member game night can't happen unless uh, you know there's actually members there for it. So we'll be playing that sometime soon. I hope that a whole bunch of you guys can make it. Thanks for liking uh, Bubbly. I really appreciate that. Best starter for plot is Chimchar. <sighs> I think I have to agree with Ramen that the best starter for Platinum is actually Piplup. Piplup is actually my favorite uh, Pokemon of like all time. I love Piplup. And like the Empoli online, so definitely. Uh, yeah, the member nights will all be on Discord. I plan to share my screen on Discord um, through like the streaming feature there. And then uh, depending on what kind of game night we're doing, I'll probably highlight, like kind of record like while we're playing and uh, kind of take highlights from that and probably like upload some kind of like a highlight video on YouTube that everyone can watch. But uh, oh, we like Turtwig, oh my gosh, we got some uh, variety here. We got uh, someone liking everyone. But uh, yeah, Azur crushed that race and locked some kind of a book. So good job there for Azur. And hey, Julian, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by the stream. I really appreciate it. You make the best chavi as well. Thank you. Also, I think I missed a message earlier from uh, LC Sonic. I do have some art of the collab between you and Sapphire. It's not on Discord, but uh, yeah, that'd be cool if you want to show that on Discord. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it up right now just because uh, whenever I pull up in Discord, it kind of screws up the stream a little bit. It's a little bit uh, too intensive for my uh, my poopy computer, but uh, yeah, no, I, your art's really good, Sonic LC. I really liked, or L, what's, is it Sonic LC or LC Sonic? LC Sonic. So I really appreciate uh, the art that uh, you've done. Some good stuff there. Awesome, thanks for sharing that. Empoleon and Piplup, but you don't like Primplup? I have to agree with you. Primplup's a little bit of a letdown. I think uh, the medium evolutions Monferno and um, blanking what Turtwigs. Is this Turtwig? Torterra? Oh, what is the metal one? I can't even remember. Jackson Gaming, I'm not gonna kill some Chow. That's the last thing we're doing here in this stream. We're avoiding Chow death at all costs. We are keeping these Chow nice and happy and uh, you know, making sure they thrive and not die. So, we will not be doing that. So, I'm going to quickly take Willy to the doctor. I want to... Grodel, that's the name. Thank you, Thanatos, for uh, reminding me. Grodel. So, I don't really, I don't really like Prinplup either. I agree with you guys that uh, Prinplup is a little bit boring. But Piplup and Empoleon are awesome, in my opinion. Angela, you're considering making a pet sim game with the Chow Garden as the main inspo. That's pretty cool. It's interesting. Okay, so I just wanted to check Willie's grade. So Willie's got that S in running, one of our only child with an S. Got that E in stamina. Both uh, Willie and Tide got that E in stamina. So I think maybe we'll make Willie into a power child, I guess. 
Try and get that up to an A. Make Willie even stronger. Chow death, chow death. <laughs> no, that's that's not what we're doing here. Whoever kills Chow goes to Chow prison. Uh, yeah, there is a blue angel Chow here. Uh, it's Tide. It's our blue two-tone Chow. Let's see, where is Tide? Tide's, I think, the strongest Chow of all of our Chow. Tide is pretty awesome. Really like Tide. Yeah, Tide, I think, is the strongest Chow by quite a lot. So, What mod are you using to show lifespan? That's a part of Chow World Extended. There's a mod pack that kind of adds like a whole bunch of uh, interesting mods. So let's see. Uh, so I think we'll make Willie into a power Chow. So luckily it looks like we have some uh, power drives already here. So we don't have to go out of our way to get them. So I'll just slowly start raising... Uh, Willie here. Yeah, Tide's insane. Yeah, I wish Tide was even stronger though, because Tide still like struggles to beat the uh, newer challenge races, so a little bit disappointing. What second evolution power type are you probably going to make Willie into? Uh, I've got no idea. I'm not even sure if I'll make Willie like neutral or hero or uh, dark. We already did have a dark power. We haven't... Oh, we do have a neutral power too. Is there is a neutral power, so maybe hero power for Willie? I don't know. Hero power is kind of a boring type, though, in my opinion. I don't know. It's not boring, but it's not like one of my favorite types. So, I don't know. hey, Jeffrey, thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate it. Oh, also, I just realized I forgot to update today's super chats. Fleet, I'm sorry I'm letting you down. I believe it was for 4.99. So, thank you, Fleet. Real special there with that uh, super chat today. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate everyone here who's a member. We got a whole bunch of you Dawes. I saw William was here earlier. No, William's not really talking much in chat, but I'm guessing William's still here. If we, uh, just thank you everyone. Kenzie, you guys all rock. I really appreciate all the channel members. You uh, help keep this channel go and uh, keep the uploads regular. Hero Power Power and Power Fi look really cool. Okay, I don't know if I remember what a Hero Power Fi looks like. To be honest, Hero Power is like one of the Chow types I make, probably the least if I'm being honest, so. And there's just so many other like cool hero types that I like uh, lean towards. But uh, yeah, but we'll make Willy a power Chow, I think is uh, the best uh, best choice, I think. Hero Power. Awesome, thanks for sticking around, William. Hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Hopefully it works uh, not too rough for you. Hopefully it's uh, been an easy day. Cynthia's the best champion in the game. Yeah, I'd say Cynthia's the best. I know Red's not an actual, like, champion, but Red in Pokemon Heart Gold is also really cool in Soul Silver. so... Yeah, Cynthia's definitely really cool, though. You ate all your chocolate chips? Oh my gosh, baseball. You're just eating all the chocolate chips. Oh my. Hope you don't get in trouble for that. I know last time you said you were worried, uh, your mom was gonna get after you for that, so... Hope everything's okay over there. I don't think I want to raise Willy too much into power, just be, or like raise Willy's power too much. I'll probably wait to raise it more until, uh, or I'll, I'll wait until Willy's like evolved, because then we'll get that A stat, and then Willy will be even stronger. He had a hero power named Champ with angry eyes, oh my. <laughs> That's something I think I might want to change up on some of our Chow, because I know with mods we can actually make it so like hero Chow don't just have like the, uh, like default hero eyes look. Where's a hero Chow? Uh, all our hero chow are like sleeping or eating but you know what I mean the hero eyes how they got like the kind of black border around them there's like mods that make it so that uh, let's see come on oh my gosh Nova's just not giving us oh there's Zer's looking to uh, make a baby but uh, and Nova's not even doing the hero eyes oh my gosh okay well anyways there's some mods that uh, can make it so you can change your chow's eyes because normally dark chow have like the Really like angry evil eyes. Uh, Ramen doesn't even have them. Ramen's got them a little bit different there. Yeah, Azur. Azur wants to uh, make baby. So let's uh, move Azur aside. We'll kind of let Chow come to Azur. I don't think I'll try and force anything, you know. Consent's important. But uh, we'll see what ends up happening here. Hey, 1v3 running man. You haven't missed too much so far. We raised uh, Willy up a little bit. So, oops, that is totally not the Chow I meant to give that to. Whoops, sorry, Willy. We raised Willy's uh, power up quite a bit, so Willy's. We think we're gonna make Willy into a hero power chow. It's kind of the plan. We've been talking a lot about Pokemon in anticipation of the Heart Gold or Platinum series that'll be coming up, or maybe even Fire Red. If you haven't voted yet uh, and you're a Chaos Chow member, definitely go onto the community tab on my channel and vote for which uh, Pokemon game you'd like to see for the next Nuzlocke. You're heading out, baseball. All right, well I'll see you later. 
Hey, Ashura. What'd you miss? We've raised uh, Willy a little bit. We did some racing. Uh, nothing too crazy's happened yet. But uh, currently, we got uh, Azura looking to uh, get a little bit friendly with some of our other chests. So we'll see what happens there. And Rose, I think we wanted to make or Swim Chow. Oh my gosh. I'm really bad at remembering like what Chow we want to make everyone. It's hard to keep track. Hey, Mika Hotshot. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Willie's going to be a strong boy? Yeah, Willie's going to be super strong. He's going to have that uh, A in power. He's super strong. Your child's very kind. Oh, must have a lot of friends. Oh, yeah, Rose is, like, just kind of bad. So we were kind of indifferent about what we were going to make Rose. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> you have around 80 child. You played the GameCube version. Wow. That is a lot of child. Also, hey, Ryan Wall. Hope you're doing well. I hope I was able to help you out when we were uh, messaging over Instagram. Hopefully, uh, solved your uh, problems you were having there. Best starter for Nuzlocke is Chimchar. See, like, I don't know what I'm going to pick for if we do end up going with a Platinum Nuzlocke. I mean, I'm pretty sure last time I checked that Platinum was in the lead. But, um, I don't know. I'm like, I really want to get uh, Piplup just because Piplup's my favorite. But I'm also, like... I know it will hit so much harder if, like, I have a Piplup die compared to a Chimchar. Not that I, like, still won't be upset if Chimchar dies, but, uh, it just won't hit me the same way, I think. Used to buy those really cheap memory cards and no space on just for more Chow guards. So that's, that's a good idea. Oh my gosh, we got so many babies in the garden right now. We, like, a few episodes ago, we had no baby Chow. It was just, like, all adults. And now we've got, like, I think half a dozen, like, baby Chow. So there's Willy uh, playing some uh, some maracas. And someone else is playing the piano. We got Galaxy playing some piano. Okay. Thanks for stopping by the stream, Ryan. I'm glad you got that all sorted out. About to have a thunderstorm, Dawes. Oh my. Hope everything's okay over there. So just said Opal could be a hero swim fly and Rose be a dark run fly. It's up to you, though. Dark Brunfly is a pretty good suggestion. I think uh, Rose would look pretty interesting as a Satan Chow. Mm. Or, you know, that'd be Dark Fly uh, Power is what I'm thinking of, not Dark Brunfly. Dark Brunfly would be pretty cool, too. Oh, my. I don't even know. What do we do with you, Rose? <laughs> when we revisit the old Chow Gardens, it might be a while. I currently don't actually really have a way to record the GameCube anymore. So, uh, for me to, like, go back to it, I'd have to buy, like, a whole separate capture card just to record that. So, I'm not too sure if that'll be happening anytime soon, but uh, it's something I would like to do in the future. There's a mod where you can check on the chat stats like one of the doctors. You can see it's hidden stats, intel, and luck. Dang, okay, I knew there was a mod that allowed you to see the hidden stats, but I didn't think you could see these stat grades there. Also, Galaxy's just going again. Got some Sonic 2 playing. I like that. It's uh, it's awesome. Chimchar, if you evolve it, beats the first gym, and you'll need to evolve it because they have about level 16 Pokemon. Yeah, I know Chimchar is good for the second gym because uh, second gym's grass. Yeah, I don't know. Cynthia's gonna be really hard though. Eventually, once we get there, it'll be a big deal. Yeah, it's really cool that they play uh, music. Right now they're playing, uh, I think it's Emerald Hill Zone from Sonic 2. Oh, and uh, Opal's enjoying it. Got some head bobbing. <laughs> Galaxy should take piano lessons. Galaxy doesn't need piano lessons. Galaxy's already, like, just going away. Just uh, playing like crazy. So, good job there, Galaxy. That was uh, quite awesome. Oh, what's Nova doing? Oh, Nova had to go up and shake... Uh, Galaxy's hand, like, wow, you're good at uh, piano. <laughs> well, it looks like Azur's mating season ended there, so Azur did not end up uh, making a baby, which is probably okay, because to be honest, we got a little bit too many chow in here right now at the moment. I'm kind of surprised we even had room for one more. I thought we were, like, at 16, but apparently not. So. The, ma the mod Thantos is thinking of might be a stat panel plus plus. Okay, I think I've seen that mod. I'll have to look into that. Imagine Galaxy playing Mega Level. Oh my gosh. <laughs> From Undertale. Yeah, that'd be uh, a little bit crazy. Nova's teaching Galaxy piano lessons. Yeah, you know what? That might actually be what Nova's doing. Nova's uh, a little bit older, a little bit more experienced. Probably uh, knows the piano a little bit better. 
Okay, so one thing I want to try doing, uh, just since I've thought about it, uh, with Chow World Extended, there's a, a part of the mod is that um, the game, like, or the mod actually lets you upgrade your Chow stack grades using rings. It costs 20,000 rings, which I'm pretty sure we definitely have. I think I maxed out my rings. Yeah, we're at 98,000, so we got a lot. I want to go see if I can try this. So the only issue is the way that, like, Chow World Extended tells you to do it like uh, on like the mod webpage is it's, like using buttons on a controller and for those of you that have been watching this series uh, for a while uh, you know that I play on keyboard so it like I can't really uh... oh something just happened whoa okay uh, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I just upgraded Tide's swim stat without even realizing it uh, how do I upgrade stamina? well that's not stamina I wanna upgrade stamina which arrow key is it? I'm pushing all arrow keys. Nothing's happening. Stamina is the one grade I want to upgrade, and I can't. Oh my gosh. Uh, sorry, Tide. I can tell you're hating this. I just want Tails to put you down. Whoops. Yeah, so we upgraded Tide's grades there. By doing that, I'm holding down the button that would normally be the Y button. And pushing on the D-pad, but for some reason it is just not letting me upgrade stamina. Which really sucks, because that's the one grade I was like really wanting to upgrade. Press all the buttons on the keyboard. <laughs> I'm going to try one more button. I, just, I didn't try pushing A. Let's try A. Uh, it's not really doing anything. Uh, is there any other buttons that might do something? No. Nah. Okay, well either way... Tide swim stat just got upgraded a whole bunch, so we'll probably spend some time raising that back up to max at some point during the stream. Or, I'll, I'm actually going to go right back in. I'm sorry, Tide. How much life did Tide have left? Is it worth raising up the swim stat all the way? Because I think Tide's... Oh, yeah. Tide's pretty close to reincarnating, so... Darn. Okay, maybe we won't bother raising Tide's stats back up, because that'll probably just uh, not make a ton of sense. Uh, you should try racing a chow of yours against Sapphire Trout. That'd be a cool idea. Yeah, we'll be doing another collab video sometime soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I know a lot of you watch Sapphire Chow's videos too, so hopefully you enjoyed the collab we did on their channel. We did a drawing challenge for any of you that missed it. It's a good time. Have I seen the speedy Eggman texture for Shadow? I haven't. I did see one texture for Eggman of, like, uh, like Eggman dressed as Sonic, so that was interesting. <laughs> Uh, what Nuzlocke rules? The rules I'm planning to do so far is that um, the Nuzlocke I'm planning to do it so every chow that faints dies. I'm planning to catch only the first chow that I encounter on each route slash like area. Uh, I'm planning to use only one healing item per battle, which might end up biting me in the butt. And I think there was one other rule I had. I can't totally remember, but uh, you'll see all of them for sure uh, in the first part of that uh, new series coming up. Collab Chow drawings on the Discord. Thanks. I'll check that out after the stream, Elsie Sonic. Thanks for posting that. You might be able to map the keys. Can I do in Quake at least? Uh, I don't know. I know when you like start up SA2, you can mess around with them. So I'll have to check that out maybe after the stream, uh, the stream, and try and do that. Hey, Black Knight Games. Thanks for stopping by. I think you can only do it once, and then they have to reincarnate race stats to 99 before you can do it again. I know you're right about something. Uh, in that regard. So maybe that's also part of the problem is I already did upgrade like two of Tide's stats. We upgraded both flying and swim. So that may be the problem uh, too there. Your Switch is super lucky. You still haven't gotten controller drift. Nice. Yeah, I haven't had that yet either. So pretty happy about that. I've got two set, two different sets of Joy-Cons that uh, haven't had that issue. Also, I said Chao, not Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm getting mixed up. <laughs> Might have uh, mixed up my words there. Nickname every Pokemon you catch? Yes, that's something we'll definitely be doing. And I'll be taking suggestions largely from the channel members. But if there's no channel members uh, present in the stream, then I'll be taking name suggestions from the regular viewers too. But I'm guessing there'll probably be a channel member in at least every stream. So if you want to uh, give name suggestions, uh, make sure to become a channel member. You can uh, get in on those name suggestions there for the Pokemon series coming up. I think to raise stamp the doctor, the controller input would be Y plus L and R. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll go check that out again. How do I up my rank on Discord to a Chaos Chow member? 
Uh, that's something that uh, one of the mods, uh, Kenzie Laura, or I can do, and it looks like uh, Kenzie was on it. Daz's name is just the exact same name as his uh, YouTube name there. His profile picture is a little different, but it's still just Daz. I think it's like Daz Daz or something like that, but you'll you'll see it there. Yeah, controller drift's not too nice, but uh, sadly it seems like a bunch of you guys have experienced it. So. Anthony was saying, hold Y plus L and R. So we're holding Y. Ah, oh, thank you, Anthony. Oh my gosh. Thank you. You're totally right. That is what it was. Thank you so much, Anthony. I owe you one. You just helped uh, get Tide's E grade slightly better. Thank you so much. Uh, Black Knight, did I miss your question? I saw that you wrote Chow. I didn't see anything else in the, the chat there. Sorry. I might have missed it there. Yeah, thank you so much for your tip there. That's the one thing I wanted to do with Tide is upgrade the stamina, and I accidentally upgraded almost every stat but stamina. <laughs> so thank you so much. I really appreciate that. What's your question, Black Knight Games? I've uh, been uh, trying to get what your question is. I don't know if I just missed it in the chat or what, but uh, sorry about that. Sorry I missed your question. I think that happened to you on Sword, the camera character is uh, acting up. Can repair it for three dollars, but it'll take a day or two. Chow Gordon or Roblox adopt me? Uh, I think Chow Gordon's a better game than Roblox, if that's what you're saying. Mostly just because uh, I never played Roblox, but <laughs> also remember you can only upgrade three stats for Chow. After that, you need to wait for them to reincarnate. All right, yeah, I kind of figured that was uh, what the situation was. But uh, luckily, Tide's actually like not too far away from reincarnating already, so we'll be able to upgrade those stats uh, pretty quickly, I think. So that'll be nice. When you get Chaos Chow, you should name them after some of your Chaos Chow members. Yeah, I think that's something we'll be doing for the Pokemon series. Why are you saying Roblox? It's not Roblox. Is it Roblox? See, that, that shows just how little I know, I guess. <laughs> Roblox, not Roblox. Roblox. My bad. My B. <laughs> okay, so we raised Willy. That was one of the big things we had to do. We should raise Rose some more. Rose is looking a little bit poopy at the moment. Opoopo is surprisingly looking okay. Opoopo's lined up to be a hero swim. That looked pretty cool, although uh, we're not really seeing much of a transformation at this point. Roblox? Oh, <laughs> darn. Okay, I guess I was saying it wrong this whole time. My bad. I think that's a cool idea, Emerald. Thinking a reincarnated Chow will have slight influence from their last form. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a good idea. So Rose, Elsie Sonic was saying before we should make them into a dark run fly. It's a decent suggestion. I'd like to hear what some of the other suggestions you guys have in chat. So anyone else uh, have any suggestions what we should do for Rose here? Rose's stack grades overall are pretty good bad so the overall type that we make rose doesn't really matter too much in that regard as you can see we raised rose's swimming up eight levels and it only went up 150 so rose is a pretty bad chow but uh, if you have any suggestions what we should make this uh, red jewel chow put them in the chat there and uh, i'll definitely pick one of them dark chow how'd you do that it'll be a partly swim but yeah we can go back if i give rose some flying chaos drives it will undo the swim uh influence so, I can still, for the most part, pick what we want Rose to be. Should we try the race again now that you've raised the grades? I don't know if I'll do it this stream, just because uh, since we raised the grades, uh, you might have noticed Tide's stats all went back to zero for all of those. Yeah, see, Elsie Sonic, I agree with your logic there that we should go with Dark Chow, because we only have, like, two Dark Chow at the moment. Or, I don't even know if we have Ramen, we got Astro's gonna be Dark. That's like pretty much it, I think, unless I'm forgetting about someone. Yeah, so I think Dark Chow is definitely the right way to go. Dark Swim would be good. Dark Swim Power. Dark Run. Ramen's just sad. No friend. What do you mean? Robin's having a good time over here. Ramen's hanging with Tide. They're having a good time. Yeah, for um, Bone, I would do some racing with Tide this part, but since we did upgrade those stats, Tide's. Uh, run, stamina, and fly are all completely back to zero. 
And normally I probably would try and raise them back up, but honestly Tides are like next closest Chow to reincarnating, I think. So I think we'll fully max out Tide once they have reincarnated. And then, oh my gosh, another child looking to uh, breed. We got Sapphire, the cool kid. We'll see if anyone uh, takes the bait here on Sapphire. He looks like uh, the piano man. He's uh, chilling in front of the piano with his, uh, his cool sunglasses. <laughs> dark run child, dark swim power. Oh, Galaxy, what's Galaxy doing? Oh, oh, Galaxy just playing piano, okay. We got like the perfect setting for a baby. If someone comes over, we got uh, some music, piano, sunglasses. That's everything you need. Let's see, is anyone gonna come? Let's see Tide, let's let's see if Tide wants to go over. Tide, you deserve this. I don't know if Tide's actually had a baby yet in the series. Oh, Tide's just, <laughs> Tide's only here for the, the music, okay. Uh, let's see, what other chow could we bring in? I'm trying to pick some ones that are cooler colors. Let's go with Nova. Nova's a cool colored chow. Let's see. We're just gonna get more music playing. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Move Ramen here. Let's see, I'll let Ramen come by on his own since Ramen's already like pretty close by. Oh, and we got uh, over here, Willie's uh, doing some dancing. Oh my gosh, we got like a big party going on. <laughs> Sapphire is a terrible influence. All right, I'm excited to see your comic, uh, Emerald. It'll be cool. It's like a wedding, but yeah, no one's showing up to marry. We just have one person. Let's see, where, do we have any, any other, like, just not playing two-tone child that could jump in there? I don't see, maybe, oh, okay, there we go. It just took a little bit. We got Nova and, uh, and Sapphire there. So there we go. The wedding was not a full-on fail. It was close to being a fail, but, uh, Thankfully, it came through. Would be a shiny chow? Yeah, this chow, I think, is like, almost guaranteed to be a shiny chow. I think there's still a small chance it might be just a regular like two-tone or something. But let's see here what happens. Another new baby chow. <laughs> and okay, so it looks like it might be a white two-tone. Let's see. Let's try petting a little bit, see if the color changes. It might just be a white uh, shiny chow. We'll see. Didn't get any sky blue from Sapphire. Let's see, are these colors gonna change slightly as we pet them? Let's see. Listen to Tails saying everything's gonna be okay a million times. So I'm not seeing any color change yet. So far it's looking very white. Might just be a plain white too, or just a plain white shiny. Yeah, I think it might be a monotone. We'll see, it might still take a little bit for those colors to show up. Yeah, I thought it would have been a bright chow, but I guess since uh, both of its parents already had a shiny fruit, it like got rid of the bright chow glitch uh, before it like even had a chance to show up. It's a little bit surprising. You'd only be able to tell if there was a monotone shiny normal with a dark character. I thought you could with hero characters too, though. Uh, maybe we'll come back to the dark character then and try that out. Well, we have to come back to the dark character anyways, because we need to raise Rose, so. Also, is that our chow counter? Okay, yeah, there was a new code I turned on. So let's see, how many chow are we at now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That doesn't seem right. I still think we have more than 12, but whatever. Maybe that's right. Yeah, so we'll be naming that chow during this stream. And uh, let me go quickly get some dark uh, character emeralds. Or chaos drives, not emeralds. Oops. Uh, what stage do we want to go on? Let's do... Let's do Metal Harbor Shadow, sure. So yeah, let's... That's not Metal Harbor. What? Did I pick Green Forest on accident? Well, oh, I'm tired today. I have worked earlier. I'm mixing up names, calling Chow Pokemon and vice versa. Oh my. Okay, so we got some swim drives. I think there's another enemy in this tunnel here. Yeah. Oh, went right past it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Snow Rice, those are some pretty solid names. Well, will have to see. I'm curious to see what it looks like once we pet it with Shadow, if it actually is just a white monotone. So honestly, having a plain white monotone might be kind of cool, since it's shiny at least. I'm not too sure if we'll end up changing the color on this one like we did with Rose and uh, Galaxy. Okay, there we go. We've got every Chaos Tribe there, every color. 
Run back in the garden with Shadow. What Pokemon games are you playing? Uh, it kind of depends on the uh, the viewers and what the Chaos Chow members uh, pick. So currently there's a poll for Chaos Chow members to pick the uh, game that we'll be playing on the Nuzlocke. And I will go check the grades. Thanks for reminding me, Dawes. Where is... Where is this baby Chow? I don't even see them. Uh, oh, there they are. Okay, let's go see. Let's go check this out. Okay, sorry, earlier I was saying uh, Pokemon. There's a Pokemon Nuzlocke going to be starting on this channel soon. It was voted on by the channel members, and now the Chaos channel members are getting to vote specifically which game I'm going to be playing in the Nuzlocke. So if you're interested in uh, having a vote on what specifically what Pokemon game I'm playing, consider becoming a Chaos Chow member. And wow, this Chow's got like surprisingly half decent grades. Like we got uh, two A's and S. And honestly, if we want to get uh, a little bit uh, spicy here, let's see what button was it again to uh, trying to upgrade the stack grades again. Can I not upgrade them while as a baby? Uh, how did I do it before? What button was I pushing? Okay, maybe I guess you can't upgrade the stats of the baby, or maybe it's just because I already, like, upgraded to... Or wait, no, I probably just don't have enough rings anymore, because I spent them all on Tide. Let's see, is that maybe why? Let's see. Oh yeah, I only have 18,000 rings. Okay, that's totally why. Yeah, out of rings. Okay, so wait, what were the stats again? They were pretty good, though. So, I think actually this chow might be uh, potentially our next best racer. So we got Tide's a really strong racer. And honestly, if we want to get a little bit cheaty and raise the fly and run, this chow could honestly be a chow that is capable of taking out all of the uh, the normal, uh, or like the uh, newer challenge races that we were trying a few streams ago. So, I think I, I'm really liking this chow. I think the idea of having a hero normal would be really cool. I think Dawes actually has a pretty good suggestion there. Oh, they have to be 99. You're right, Bone the Cat. Thank you. They have to be level 99, and I don't have enough rings for it. So, I think... I'm, I'm liking this chow. This is a really cool chow. So, let's let's quickly name it. So, I like the name Snow so far. Snow is a good name. If you want to get in your names real quick, I'll uh, read them over. But, so far, Snow's leading the pack, I think. I forget. Who suggested Snow first? Dawes said Snow. Uh... Yeah, it looks like Dawes was uh, the first one to come up with Snow. Ice is a pretty good name, too. Definitely not Zippy. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What uh, suggestions come over here? Snowver, Snow, Ice, Weiss. William likes Snow also. I, re I really like Snow. Make it a run, Chow. Hmm. Playing a randomized Nuzlocke. Oh, cool, Flea. Which, uh, which game are you playing on? For randomized. The only games that I've ever seen randomized in Pokemon was uh, Fire Red. Vanilla, Weiss, Crystal, Milkshake, Flurry. Flurry's a good name. Frost? Ooh, I like Frost. Frost? Ooh, Frost's pretty good too. Oh my gosh. Frost and Snow. Snow Hero Normal. I like the Hero Normal suggestion. I think that's a, a pretty good one. Tornado. I would go with Tornado, but we did already have one chow named Tornado in the Chow Garden series. So I don't want to reuse that name. Oh, I'm liking, I'm liking Snow and Frost. Oh my gosh. Are we playing Pokemon Emerald? That's cool. That's a bit of a harder game from like what I've heard for Nuzlocke. Hope it's uh, going well for you. Yeah, randomized Nuzlocke. Oh my gosh. Just imagine like a Groudon showing up in like one of the opening areas of the game. <laughs> Um, I don't think I'll make a poll for this one just because I think I'm already pretty decided on uh... Ugh, Frost or Snow for sure. Pepper. Milky. I, I think I'm going to go with Snow. Sorry, Flea. Your name's definitely the runner-up with Frost, but uh, I'm liking Snow. So thank you, Dawes, the new Chaos Chow member for uh, Snow. It's a great name suggestion. I think this Chow has potential to be our next uh, great racing Chow, so... I think probably off stream, I don't know if I'll do it this stream, but at some point I'm going to raise up the flying and running stats up to max, and I think upgrade both of these, or both of the stats, and have this chow be like a really good chow. So, you've had that happen, ended your run, oh my gosh, <laughs> uh, 
That's pretty crazy. Okay, so let's quickly pet this chow and actually find out if it is a monotone chow. I kind of think it is, but we'll see. Apparently it's not visible for if the chow becomes a hero chow. I thought it was, but I guess not. You can see snow going places. I think snow's uh, gonna be our next uh, next really strong chow, so I'm pretty excited about that. We're making a Pokemon fan game too, Emeralds? Dang, you're just all over all those fan games. That's awesome. Snow's gonna be your favorite. <laughs> Snow's pretty cool, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see what uh, what Snow turns out like. Frost is a good name too, yeah, Raiden. That was a tough one. That was a, a hard uh, choice there between those two names. Okay, let's see. Will we get any significant color change here? But then after that, we will start raising uh, Rose with Shadow, wherever Rose is. I don't even see Rose right now. Rose is probably off behind that. Uh, oh wait, no, there's Rose. Rose is like sleeping on the top of the uh, like ledge there, way off in the distance. Pretty small there. <laughs> Okay, so we have, it does look like this is actually a monotone, like, what's it even called? I don't know, you can see the colors, like, changing, though. You can see that this chow is, like, kind of turning, like, a reddish, like, hue. Maybe give Snow an interesting face since they're a little plain. Yeah, you know that that's a pretty good idea. I think we'll do that, too. Okay, so yeah, I don't, for some of you that know chow, maybe a little bit better than me. I get a little bit confused sometimes with each chow. Is this a white two-tone, or is this a... Monot I don't even at least one of the other chows hungry. Yeah, there's pretty much always some chow crying in the background in this series. There's so many chow it's hard to like keep them all constantly fed. I don't know if you'll do this, but if I donate like a hundred dollars, can I request a chow? I'm asking this again since the membership changed. Well don't don't you Oh no, because I think you're only adult chow. Um maybe. I I'd maybe consider that one V3 running man. Yeah, so monotone normal shiny. Yeah, I don't know. This, it's a, it's a weird, a weird chow. Why is it pink now? Yeah, it's not like two tone, but uh, it does uh, change there. So interesting there for snow. I still think I like snow as a hero chow better, even though the color like doesn't change at all. So we'll kind of figure out what we do with that. But I think we'll probably do Hero Normal. I really like the Hero Normal suggestion. I think LC Sonic was the first one to type that in. But uh, I thought that was a pretty good suggestion. Anyway, so let's go raise Rose. I thought the suggestion for a Dark Swim Chat was pretty cool. So I think that's what we're going to make Rose into. And luckily we already raised Swimming a whole bunch. So that'll make it uh, a little bit easier. So let me put down Snow here. How much got to pay to have Yuko in the base series? <laughs> Honestly, like, I might consider adding Yuko to the base series once the exclusive Chow Garden series is over, because Yuko, I think, is one of the cooler uh, requested Chow. You could definitely do that for Yuko and uh, Rascal. That was uh, Devin's uh, suggested Chow, too. I'm not sure if uh, Devin's still here. I know they were, I think they were here earlier in the stream. But, uh, yeah, th that's something I'll definitely consider if we, uh, if there's still room in the garden by that point, I'll definitely consider adding Yuko. And probably Rascal Devon's Chow into the main series since uh, both of you have just supported the series so much. I feel like it's the least I could do. I think you should give Snow a wavy mouse so it's cold looking. That's a solid idea. Will I get my own Chow for the exclusive series? Sadly, you're slightly late, you're slightly late there, Dawes. But uh, I'll for sure let you pick one of the names uh, for the Pokemon Nuzlocke to kind of try and make up for that a little bit. So yeah, sorry, you're just past the cutoff. I'm really sorry about that, but um, the exclusive Chow Garden series just has got a little bit too hard to manage for me. Um, when I first set the up or like set up the Chaos Chow tier, I didn't think that like anyone was gonna like actually register for it. But then like almost everyone that became a channel member was a Chaos Chow member, so it just kind of got uh, a little bit much to handle pretty quick. It's just joking. No, I'll definitely consider it. Yuko's a really cool Chow, and honestly, Yuko might be a Chow that's capable of actually beating the newer challenge races. So. No, I'd, I'm definitely interested in doing that. Um, using my dad's credit card, and he has so many memberships, like, dang. So I feel like $15 is too much in Netflix up its price sometimes. Yeah, like, feel no pressure. Like, no pressure. Like, you don't have to become a Chaos Chow member, but uh, it definitely helps out the channel. You get some cool uh, bonus perks, too. Uh, do you think you can make bold a shiny red two-tone Chow instead of the normal two-tone? 
Uh, yeah, I can make a uh, bold. Bold's already a red two tone, but yeah, I can add the shiny. I think I, I think that's what you're saying. Just make him a shiny. Yeah, sure. That's something I can do. I will. Um, I'll try and remember that. Let me write it down here so I don't forget. Maybe like briefly in this live stream, we can go into that garden and uh, quickly take a look. So I'm just gonna write this down for you, bold or uh, William. Bold, shiny. Okay, I just wrote a note for that. I'll make sure to change that between this part and the next part. Is that Infinite Chaos Drive thing part of Child World Extended? Uh, yes, it is. It's actually a glitch you can do even without Child World Extended. Oh, whoops, that was totally the wrong drive. But um, Child World Extended makes it so it's a little bit easier. It just makes it so you don't even have to like really do the glitch part of it. Oh yeah, those are all the channel emotes for anyone that is considering becoming a channel member. Even as part of the adult chow tier, you get access to those emotes. Got some chow wins, some Pokemon. Hopefully I'll enjoy them. I spent uh, a little bit more time trying to make them better because the original emotes kind of sucked, but uh, I think they're they're pretty good now, I think. <laughs> hey, Neil, thanks for stopping by the stream. Scrummy Chow Garden six years ago, wow. Love the way you interact with Poncho. Keep up the entertain content. Thank you, Neil, I really appreciate that. It's really nice of you to say that. Should name them snow cones because it looks like someone put strawberry flavoring on them. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. <laughs> Here's the main question for Nuzlocke. For those three games, what Eevee? What Eevee evolution, I guess, is what you're trying to say? What Eevee evolution, huh? Hmm, I don't know. Because I'm trying to think. I don't know if... I think in every Pokemon game you get an Eevee. I don't know. That's something that we'll uh, come across, I guess. Uh, or we'll decide once we come across it in that series. What Chow type do I think is the ugliest? <laughs> That's a tough question. Oh, my. Uh... Ugliest Chow type. I'm not sure. I don't know if there is one type that I would say is like definitively ugly. I don't know. That's a hard question. In Platinum, they added Leafeon and Glaceon. Getting a Leafeon or a Glaceon would be really cool. I think at some point in the Nuzlocke, I might consider doing some shiny hunting and trying to get a shiny Pokemon. I think it'd be really cool to do that. I've never really like done like wild shiny hunting. I've done like shiny hunting like through hatching before and just like eggs. Uh, I remember, I think I hatched like over 600 Piplups before I finally got a shiny one. So, that was a bit of a pain in the butt. But, uh, I think it'd be kind of fun to do on stream. Uh, sorry I haven't been active in chat. That's all cool, Raiden. Talking about Barbies. <laughs> when you requested we give Snow Robo Lens. I know you've been asking for a while, Vivian, or Emeralds, uh, that we should, uh, give someone Robo Lens. That's something we'll maybe do. Maybe Rose could have some Emeralds, uh, or, uh, Robo Lenses, I mean. I'm not too sure. I think they had Umbreon, Espeon, and HeartGold, SoulSilver. Yeah, I'm pretty sure HeartGold, SoulSilver even has Leafeon and uh, uh, Glaceon, too. I don't know if you can actually get them in-game, but like I know they're in the national decks. It's not a guarantee you would get an Eevee unless it was a gift. I know in Plat I'm pretty sure in Platinum you get one, so maybe HeartGold you get one, too. Don't really think any chart types are ugly. We've had to pick maybe the Dark Power. Sorry, Astro. <laughs> you know, that, that's not too bad of a choice. Sylveon and Umbreon are the best. What was my first shiny Pokemon? My first shiny Pokemon was a shiny Dustox that I caught in Pokemon Diamond. Uh, I forget what the forest is called, but it's the forest right before Eterna City. I think that's what the city's called. The one right before like the second gym. I caught a shiny Dustox. It doesn't? It doesn't? You don't? What? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking, Kenzie. Oh. Leafy is one of my favorite Pokemon, but it's not very good. I don't know why, but Pokemon X and Y Final 7 or was so hard for you. I played a lot of Pokemon X and Y. I'm pretty sure Kenzie like almost got like a complete live like shiny Dex or something like that. Or maybe she did get a live like Pokedex at one point. It's uh pretty intense stuff. <laughs> Hero Swim none is ugly to you. Silver and gold is a gift. I thought you get an Eevee as a gift in most of the games. Sylveon and Glaceon. Those are both really cool. I think my favorite evolution is definitely Espeon. I grew up playing Pokemon Coliseum a little bit, and Pokemon Coliseum has Espeon as one of your starters. And it also helps that Espeon's actually, like, a really good Pokemon stats-wise. Espeon's, like, special attack and speed are both, like, really good. So, I've always been a big fan of Espeon. I always had one on my competitive Pokemon team. Rayquaza is a crazy cool shiny Pokemon. You're a great choice there, Dawes. <laughs> shiny Rayquaza is really cool. I find the neutral power second evolutions are ugly. That's true, yeah. I don't really know if I like any of the hero power, uh, like any of the power evolutions. All of them are a little bit, uh, 
A little bit, uh, not super cool, I think. <laughs> you have over 300 shinies in Sword and Shield. Dang, William, that's awesome. That's uh, some dedication there, holy. So there we go, we got Rose raised pretty strong. I think we'll let Rose chill for a while now. And we could probably focus on our new baby, uh, Snow. You have 720 and 22 in EX. Your first shiny was a Magikarp in Heart Gold. Wow, does so he have two shiny? Oh, that's such like a, a crappy shiny to get in uh, Heart Gold too, since you already get the shiny Gyarados anyways off. It's a little bit unlucky, but that's still pretty cool. Shiny Hacks or Shiny Hacks versus is nice. Favorite thing to do in Pokemon games is shiny hunt. Shiny hunting's fun, yeah. That's uh, very rewarding. It takes forever, but once you eventually get that shiny, it's a, it's a really good feeling. Some shinies in the main series games. Pokemon Go, you have over 120. Wow. Pokemon Go, I've probably got quite a lot of shinies too. Um, getting close to level 40 in Pokemon Go. I was really excited to uh, finally reach the level cap, and then they extended the level cap right before I got to level 40. So now I'm just some dude who's not even close to the level cap anymore. <laughs> I played a lot of Pokemon Go. Oh, you have a 1,300 Shinies? Oh my gosh, I don't even think I have 1,300 Pokemon in Pokemon Go. I don't know how many I have, but uh, I know it's not that many. I think my strongest Pokemon in Pokemon Go is like a 43 or 4,400 CP slacking. And I've got like a uh, Salamence. It's like kind of right behind it too. A few really good Metagross. Favorite Chinese Metal Gallade. Oh, that's really cool. It turns kind of uh, like a teal color, right? Oh, that's a really cool shiny. Wish shiny Zekrom was white and shiny Restaurant was black. Yeah, that would be cool. What's your best shiny in Pogo? My best shiny? I have a shiny Rayquaza that's like over 3,000 CP. So I think that's probably my best one. After that, I think I have a shiny like Mamoswine that's pretty good also. Most strong shiny is a shiny Kyogre with 4,000 CP. Oh my gosh. Call him Pinky. <laughs> Level 47 Pokemon Go? Oh my gosh, William. I'll maybe message you on Discord after this. I'll have to maybe add you on Pokemon Go because uh, I'm always looking for some more friends there if you got uh, the friends face. Don't know if this has been already asked, but do adult child members also have access to member game nights or is it only chaos child members? Um, currently it's only for Chaos Chow members, but depending on the game we're playing, uh, like for example, if we end up playing Among Us, and say we only have like five Chaos Chow members in, I would like open up the other few spots to, um, just the regular adult, or the, like the adult Chow memberships, but, uh, it's like, the member game nights are like, assuming we have like a full group, it will only be for the Chaos Chow members. Pokemon Go is a lot of fun 1v3. I'd, I'd recommend playing it. It's a good game on the go. I used to play it on the bus a lot uh, on my way to school because uh, we always drove past a ton of Pokemon stops. So just get a whole bunch of items for free. <laughs> oh, Ty's playing some uh, piano. I used to have Pokemon Go, but I got a new phone and I don't know my account that I used. Oh, no. Add Chaos Child members in Pogo? I mean, that's something I could do. I'll definitely add William, even though William's not a Chaos Child member. William's been a fan of the series for, or like my channel, I guess, for like years. He's one of the few people that I know has been watching since the original series. Him and uh, Samantha McBurney, I know for sure, have been watching. I'm sure there's a few others too, but uh, no. William's been a very dedicated uh, fan. I'm really happy uh, he's, uh, he's here. So thank you, William. I really appreciate you. You only have three shinies in Pogo. Lol and Raticade. Oh, we got the trumpet from Nova. Oh my gosh, a loud trumpet. Strongest shiny in Pogo is a Drifflum. Ooh, I've got a shiny Drifflum too. Pretty cool. Probably gift you a free shiny level. Trading is weird. Yeah, trading's a little bit uh, not great in Pokemon Go. Oh, you are a Chaos Child. I don't know why I blanked that out. Yeah, you are a Chaos Child member. I, it's hard to keep track of everyone, but yeah, no, you are right. You are a Chaos Child member, so I'll definitely add you in Pogo if you want. So I'll, uh, I'll maybe message you on Discord after the stream. Do I do community days? Yes. I don't as much anymore, but uh, me and my awesome girlfriend used to uh, do them pretty regularly. Also, oh my gosh, Viper Sniper with the upgrade to Chaos Chow. Thank you, Viper Sniper. Also, wait, someone just evolved? What? Did Rose just evolve? Where? Oh, it's up there! <laughs> we shot a Chow evolve and I didn't even like notice. Viper Sniper, thank you for becoming a Chaos Chow member. I really appreciate your support. You've also been here since the start. You, William. And Sam, I know for sure, I've been watching my channel for years, so thank you. You guys all rock. Thank you, Viper Sniper. 
I wish to play with the Mighty Child Gaming, but too poor. <laughs> well, I appreciate you becoming a member anyways. So really appreciate your support. And wow, we have a lot of channel members here. So thank you, everyone. Oh my gosh. I got two separate Chaos Child memberships just this stream alone. I think I'll maybe add like a new members section to the layout too. Because right now I only have Super Chats, but I don't have a section for people that just became uh, members. But anyways, here's Rose. Rose the uh, Dark Swim. I think Rose looks pretty cool. So what is that sound? I hear something, uh... Oh my gosh, Sapphire. <laughs> Speaking of Pogo. <laughs> you have a shiny Clink Omastar and one another. Ooh, shiny Omastar is really cool. It's about time. <laughs> well, thank you, Viper Sniper. I really appreciate it. You wish Two-Tone Jewel Chow exists? They do exist. They're just a little bit glitchy and turn invisible sometimes, but, uh... Yeah, it'd be cool if there was two-tone jewel chow where they kind of had like maybe different colored like feet and stuff. It'd be really cool. But thank you so much, Viper. I think I think I am gonna quickly add like uh, a section on the layout for new members during this stream. Maybe work on Opal. Suggested a hero swim fly, but we can vote. I believe we already have. I'll quickly go back and check. But I'm pretty sure we actually got Opal already raised up enough for uh, like pre-evolution. I think we'll raise Opal more once they evolve. Oh, and we'll get Opal some food here. But yeah, Opal, I believe, is already... Yeah, Opal's already lined up to become the Hero Swim. Nick, you can kind of see the horns are slightly shaping off to the side, so it should be all good there for Hero Swim. Yeah, we'll raise Opal more after they uh, evolve. You also... Yeah, we'll add Dawes, Viper Sniper. We'll add both of you to the, uh, the today's new members. Three-tone... Three two-tone jewel chow. <laughs> Triple tone jewel chow that'd be pretty cool oh no i completely misread your message girl cake you made three two-tone jewel chaos chow in sa1 oh my gosh that's pretty cool i've never had any, like a chaos chow at all in sa1 i don't think i've even had a chow reincarnate in sa1 i've just like never played far enough in the chow in that game for that to uh to uh happen yeah no no worries lc sonic it's a little bit tricky to see the the swim happening they're just like still such a new baby that this like evolution isn't really like showing all that hard there or they're like uh type what team are you in pogo i am team uh oh what's it called team instinct i think the i'm the yellow team should we raise snow somewhere yeah we'll definitely raise snow during this stream for sure and we'll get to that team mystic <laughs> No, Team Yellow uh, all the way. Even though Team Yellow is objectively the worst team, Team Instinct, yeah, Team Instinct objectively is pretty terrible. Pretty sure it's, like, by far the least popular team, so it always makes it a little bit trickier taking gyms in, like, busy areas. But, uh, no, Team Instinct all the way, for sure. <laughs> so, let's see, who will we race with? Uh, let's try doing a race with Nova. Your Valor, you love red. Nice. So actually, it's actually pretty surprising, despite Team Yellow being, like, the crappiest, uh, team. Surprisingly, like, all of my, like, pretty much all of my friends in real life that play Pokemon Go are all, like, Yellow Team. And, like, we didn't even, like, plan it out amongst most of us. It just kind of happened, so. You're Valor 2. Oh, I forgot you were Valor Kenzie. Oof. That's rough. Oh. <laughs> I think Kenzie's one of the only people I play with in real life that is not, uh, Team Instinct alongside me. Oh, no. I hope the game doesn't crash during the race. Oh, I should have maybe saved. Okay, after, as soon as this race is over, we're going to save so we don't uh, end up having a crash again. Uh, but today's... New... Or I'll put new members, I think is what I'm going to put on the stream. New members. And then we got... So we had Dawes join today. Viper Sniper upgraded. So we'll add that. Viper Sniper at 052, right? I'm just going to scroll up real quick. 052, yeah. There we go. So there's our two new members. I think that was everyone. I hope I'm not forgetting someone. Going with Valor because like fire types. That's cool. I don't really know why I went yellow. <laughs> I think I was just like, ah, whatever, screw it. I'll just be yellow. <laughs> I don't think there was a whole lot of uh, thought process into uh, becoming a team instinct for me. I oh, don't know. My game's freezing up again. Uh, I'm going to be buying some new RAM. Or, uh, upgrading the RAM on my computer fairly soon, so I'm hoping that uh, solves some of the issues with uh, my game not being super reliable. Does it actually matter what uh, team you choose? 
You have very big layers, yeah. <laughs> Oops, sorry, really, guys. A little bit smaller now. Uh, does it matter what team you choose? Not really. It just kind of affects, I guess, how gyms work for you. It's best to try and be on the team with your friends if you play with them in real life, and that way you can fight uh, gyms together. It's a little bit awkward uh, when you're with someone who's on a different team and you're, like, fighting them in a gym. <laughs> you don't play Pokemon Go, but if you did, you'd be Team Yellow, because they seem goofy and fun, although they're too very serious. <laughs> yeah, Team Instinct uh, is definitely, like, the, uh, the uh, crappier team, but it's a little bit more fun because of that. Also, we do have a new mod. I didn't actually, like, test it out at all. But uh, that allows me to manually change the camera angles. But I don't actually know how to change them. I don't know which key to press to change them. But yeah, we're, right now we're just watching some random, uh, <laughs> some random normal run chow. Oh, Nova just fell in a hole. Hopefully Nova recovers. Run, Nova! Okay, I don't know how to change the camera back to Nova. But there we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, what? Why are we watching this show? I want to watch Nova win. How do I... I'm just kind of pushing every key, hoping something hits. Oh, it's the never key. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, what games are we going to play on member nights? I think the first member night will probably be Scribbly or Among Us. It kind of just depends how many people are there. Uh, it'll Honestly, a lot of the member nights will probably just be like, who's there on that night? We'll kind of find a game that most of us have and play that. Might leave. Uh, thanks for sticking around, 1v3. I'm... Uh, I appreciate, I appreciate your nice words. I'm really thankful that you're a member of the channel, so thank you so much. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Recently caught a shiny Articuno. Oh my gosh, wow, that's really cool. Instinct are the half of Pops of Pogo. Yeah, you're definitely right there. <laughs> okay, so I want to try... I want to see, okay, before we had the challenge races kind of glitch out, and I think it was because we were using a different mod. Okay, no, they still glitched out anyways. So at some point, we're going to have to go back and try and beat this unfair chow race. Uh, I mean, maybe Azur can actually beat it. Because it's just a running race, right? Maybe Azur actually can beat this one. Yeah, let's let's give this one more go. Even though we already beat this race before, I'm going to have to beat this at some point off screen and beat all these. Also, see you, Ramen. Thanks for stopping by the stream. We're going to try this again. So a few streams ago, we went through and we tried to beat all these races. And then I loaded back into my game. And I don't know what happened, but I ended up losing... Like, uh, I ended up losing my progress. I don't even know what happened. But, uh, let's, uh, try this again. Azur's a little bit faster than Tide was. Doesn't have anywhere near as much stamina, though, so. We'll give this one go, just on this stream. I don't think we're going to do the rest of the newer challenge races, just because, uh, we've already spent a lot of time on stream doing all these races, so. Just try and beat this one race, and then off screen, I think I will try and, uh, spend some time, uh, going through and actually beating the rest of them and getting them up to the point we're at before. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching the stream so far. If you haven't uh, given the stream a like yet, please consider doing so, it really helps out. And also, if you're at all interested in becoming a channel member, there's some more information on the top left of the screen. Chaos channel members get access to Chow Gaming Nights, or uh, Member Game Nights. And uh, we also will be uh, doing some member-only polls. There's currently one right now on the channel for Chaos Chat members to vote on which game I'll be playing on, or which game I'll be playing during my Pokemon Nuzlocke. So, yeah, we'll see uh, what the results of that uh, poll are. Also, my game's freezing right now. Don't worry, it's not uh, not your stream. Sometimes the game's just struggling. You have a level 100 Mew and employee on a Pokemon Pearl. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, the music's different. Yeah, we're on modded races right now, so all of them have a little bit of different music. Gen 5's the best. Gen 5's pretty awesome. Yeah, so it looks like Azur's probably going to lose. I think Azur had a trip earlier while I wasn't paying attention. And Azur just sadly doesn't have the stamina to really be able to cheese his way to the end of the race here. But Azur is our fastest Chow on foot. So that's uh, why I decided to give Azur this try, even though Azur otherwise doesn't really have the best stats. Also, there's that Chow that everyone keeps talking about, that purple Chow there. I think that chow scarred a few people <laughs> with a weird look on its face. One of the uh, big golden wings. The one in last place right now. Or no, it's only in seventh, I think. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> you haven't played Gen 5 or 4? You definitely should. You're missing out, uh, Dawes. Both are great uh, generations. I haven't fully completed every gen, but those are two of the ones that I've played like pretty extensively. Gen 4 for sure. I played a lot of Gen 4. I really like Gen 4. So, we got destroyed by these unfair chow. Rip. We just kicked our butts. 
sadly. <laughs> On your second heart goal, you have a shiny star to tote it out. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm hoping I get lucky like that on uh, on my playthrough of the Nuzlocke. We get a shiny star. That'd be really cool. When you do member game mates, can non-members watch instead of participate? Or you're not going to be able to streaming? Uh, they're not going to be streamed, but I'll be uploading uh, highlights of it afterwards. So if you want to get involved with the member game mates, the only option really is just to become a Chaos Chow member. Uh, if you're like a, just an adult Chow member, there's a chance you might be able to get into them, but it's not super likely. So... If you are interested in playing some games with us, you know, Scriblio, Among Us, maybe some Minecraft, uh, maybe even some Town of Salem, just kind of like any kind of fun group game. But uh, we'll be trying out a whole bunch of stuff, so I think it'll be a lot of fun. But if that's something that interests you, definitely jump on that uh, Chaos Chow membership. Feel Pokemon start feeling rushed after Gen 5. It definitely lost some of the charm it had in the earlier games, but uh, the newer ones I've played have also been really good. I haven't uh, played Sun and Moon at all, or a Sword and Shield, but uh, I've uh, played X and Y quite a lot, and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It's kind of like the last generation I played uh, pretty extensively there. Okay, let's see. Where is... Uh... Okay, here's Snow. So... I think I've decided I want Snow to be a hero normal chow, and that we want to make this chow super strong. So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with a normal character. Pummel party? That's going to be one we can uh, look into for um, for the uh, oh, what am I saying? The member game nights. I think that's a. I'll definitely check it out. Like channel members, like the chaos channel members, by all means, like feel free to suggest games for the member game nights. Like we don't just have to do games that I currently have. I'm also open to. Uh, buying some new games and playing them with you guys if there's a, a group of you that have a, a certain game. Play Squid Game. Splatoon 2. I haven't played Splatoon 2, but I played uh, the first Splatoon. Also, Ramen. Oh my gosh, we've had so many Chow uh, open to breed this part. Okay, I'm going to try and pick up Ramen. Okay. Not that I don't want Ramen to have a baby, because Ramen already had a baby not uh, too far back. So, let's leave that. Maybe Hero Normal Run. I'm not totally sure what we'll do after the Hero Normal, but what I was thinking we should do for this Chow is since I want to max out his stats and upgrade them, I think, if I can even find it. Oh, there's Snow. Are you going to make one of your Chow a Chaos Chow someday? That's kind of the plan. I'm hoping that one of Astro will really become a Chaos Chow. I think also Sapphire would look really cool as a Chaos Chow. So yeah, we'll definitely be doing that. Pummel Party's like Mario Party. Oh, okay, yeah, well, that's definitely a game I consider doing for the member game nights. Also, it only took you an hour for that shiny Dawes? Wow, that's uh, impressive. Phasmophobia is a cool game. Yeah, I'm mostly looking for games that we can do like at least like eight plus people, hopefully. Jackbox. Jackbox is definitely something I was thinking about doing too. Play like some Fibbage or some of the uh, murder trivia. You know, the Jackbox games would be great for the member game nights too, so. And Jackbox would be something that I actually could stream probably to the rest of the channel for uh, all the regular viewers. Tider Sapphire would make great Chaos Chow. Yeah, you're right. They'd both be really cool. Sapphire should become a Knuckles Chow. I mean, that's something we could do eventually because uh, with Chow World Extended, you can turn Chow into character Chow. So maybe that's something I'll do. Super Mario Party? I do actually have Super Mario Party. I wouldn't really have any way to stream it or record it at all, but that's something we could do too. Because I'm pretty sure uh, games, or uh, you can do like online uh, mini games, I think. So that'd be pretty cool too. How much more do the Chow interact with each other in Chow World Extended? Quite a lot. There's been a few points in the stream where we've seen a few Chow like holding hands or uh, talking. I think you can see off in the distance actually right now, Galaxy and uh, uh, Astro are kind of having a conversation with each other. So yeah, that's something you don't see in the vanilla game at all, Gur Cakes. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's something that's introduced by Chow World Extended. You see stuff like that pretty regularly. Uh, the garden's becoming pretty crazy. We've got so many Chow. There's Nova's playing music. There's a Chow singing somewhere. There's pretty much just always like something going on right now. It's actually a little bit chaotic. It's a... Uh... A little bit noisy sometimes too. Hopefully the stream volume is okay. Maybe I need to turn down the game volume a little bit. I think I will turn down actually a little bit. But yeah. 
No, having like 16 chow in the garden uh, definitely ups the interaction and the noise. <laughs> the garden gets pretty noisy. There's chow crying all the time. There's chow singing and playing. All right, I'm sorry, Nova. Your bell's just kind of loud and annoying. Sorry, Nova. Play a different instrument. You can see Sapphire and Tide here sitting and talking. That's part of the interaction that gets added. And dang it, Snow, you, you messed me up. You, uh, you went to sleep. Supposed to be petting you and making you into a hero, Chow. I don't think this will probably work. No. Ugh. Dang it, Snow. Okay, what well, my plan was anyways was for to get Snow up to the hero, Chow, and then to give Snow some mushrooms to force the evolution, like, right away. And then uh, start working on Snow's actual stats. Will you ever split the Chow into different gardens? I've been considering it. I mean, we're honestly pretty close to the limit already, so... Eventually, if we do keep having new Chow introduced, that will, like, have to happen. So... Look, can I see? I think I might like kind of swap Chow out like I did in the original series where like I would if a Chow didn't really have a whole lot going on I'd take them out of the garden for a few parts and then bring them back in and replace them with different Chow that kind of thing Yeah, the coloring on Sapphire is perfect for a neutral chaos Chow Definitely right about that All right, eat this food so now I gotta get you towards hero <laughs> They look like chaos. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really cool. They're basically children. It's gonna be noisy. Yeah <laughs> Do mushrooms affect age? I don't know if they actually affect the age at all, but they've like forced your child to evolve pretty quickly, so. It's pretty cool. It's your secret agenda you're pushing onto Chow. <laughs> By the way, is it possible to give people permissions to watch something without a membership? Um, I'm not too sure what you mean, I guess. Uh, possible to give people permissions to watch something. I'm not too sure exactly what you mean, I guess. Um... Yeah, I, I'm not too sure exactly what you're asking, I guess, 1v3. We're talking about, like, channel videos? If you make Sapphire into a Chaos Chow, rename him Chaos VO. <laughs> or version 0. Yeah, we can maybe do that. I think I might keep the name Sapphire, just because Sapphire is kind of iconic, I think, at this point. But, uh, yeah. Mushrooms affect magnitude, makes them age. So I didn't realize it made, affected the age, I thought it was just, uh... I knew it affected the magnitude, but I didn't know if it actually affected their, like, age number itself. Whoops. Alright, need another mushroom. Buy a whole bunch of these bad boys. Oh, not orange fruit. Oh my. I'm a little bit slow today. Also, what was that? Did I just see... Oh, it was a gray egg. I thought it was a moon egg. I was like, whoa! Moon! What? Why isn't the mushroom showing back up? Oh, there it is. I'm just looking in the wrong area. <laughs> yeah, actually, I haven't played much Sonic Mania. That originally was one of the games on the member poll to decide what uh, we'll be doing next, but uh, didn't really get a whole lot of votes. I think I saw a couple of people vote for it, but uh, Pokemon was uh, the pretty clear favorite there, I think. Yeah, sorry I wasn't able to answer your question there, 1v3. Also, whoa, Rose just came, like, flying in there. Almost looked like a... Uh, they're like skipping rocks, if you know what I mean. You throw a rock against like a river and it bounces a whole bunch of times. That's what Rose looked like there. Okay, where is... Where is Snow? Oh, someone's playing piano. Nice. Oh, here's Snow. Chilling with Astro. Sorry to wake you up, Snow, but uh, you ain't got time for sleeping. You're going to be the next champion of the Chow. You're going to be the next super strong Chow, so you need to eat up and get nice and strong. You're hoping for Minecraft with the Pokemon Nuzlocke to win? I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of happy when I saw the Pokemon Nuzlocke win, because I'm uh, pretty excited for that series. Child with Mush makes them evolve faster, Adult with Mush makes them look older. Okay. That makes sense. Minecraft is 0%. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I haven't checked the poll in a little while, so. Yeah. Looks like a Mario Mushroom? Yeah, honestly it does, yeah. <laughs> When a chow reincarnates, you have to send them off. Maybe that could be the Nuzlocke. But then every chow would just die eventually. Because even in a Pokemon Nuzlocke, you know, some chow make it to the end. Whereas, uh... I don't know. It's an interesting concept. Also, Snow, you evolving already? Yep, okay. It only took two mushrooms. That was fast. Alright, hopefully they evolve hero. They're still, like, leaning slightly towards neutral, but mostly hero. So we'll kind of see what happens here. Yeah. We'll just let it go. We'll see what happens. I'm excited it's Pokemon as well. <laughs> It'll be a little bit salty if it wasn't Pokemon. Yeah, I don't blame you. Is 
Yeah, someone's playing the flute. Okay, we do got Hero Chow, nice. So there we go, Snow. We got Snow and almost immediately had them evolve. Maybe a Hero Normal Ren? We'll kind of see. To be honest, I don't totally remember what all the Hero Normal types look like, so uh, we'll see. Is it ethical to make Chow age faster? Honestly, probably not. Child, a lot of people consider childhood to be the best part of someone's life. And we basically made Snow's childhood all of like five minutes, so... In that way, you can say we potentially ruined Snow's life, but uh, I don't think Snow minds too much. Snow seems to be uh, having a good time. Snow just wants to sleep. <laughs> Chow knows luck could be you do all the Chow races. If they lose, you have to stop using them. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's actually an okay way of doing it, Raiden. Or if they like lose in karate, we just like don't ever see them again. It's like an actual fight to the death in karate. <laughs> Snow's childhood wasn't even a childhood. <laughs> You have to get an all X chow to win or a chaos chow to win. And your first chow has to start with an all E, only one egg. Oh my gosh, that'd be uh, quite the challenge there. Snow would be so cute with blue eyes. Yeah, we'll have to see because there are some like eyes we can uh, get in the store to kind of customize. So let's see, is there anyone else we want to give a mushroom to? Is there anyone else that we can just like force evolve right away? Astro's been old for the while. Maybe we'll give one to Astro, maybe one to Willy. I got a whole bunch of Chow to evolve here real quick. Snow looks adorable. Yeah, I'm actually really liking the way the snow looks. I'm normally not a big uh, fan of monotone Chow, but uh, I think as a hero Chow, snow uh, really works. So I'm pretty excited about that. Galaxy? Oh, Galaxy. Thanks, Kenzie. That's a good suggestion. Where is Galaxy? Uh, Galaxy, where are you? They're holding hands and walking into a wall. Willy, Galaxy... I think we'll for sure give one to Galaxies. Galaxy, I think, has been around pretty long. But then after, I think we might give one to Astro. Oh, there's Galaxy. Oh, there we go. Alright, Galaxy, have a mushroom. You're looking like you're leaning towards Hero Run, which is what we want, so... We'll give you one of these bad boys. Whistle. I haven't actually really tried whistling at all in this series. Let's see, do our Chow actually love us? Well, oh, someone's coming. Oh, Gal <laughs> only Galaxy came. <laughs> we'll try it again once uh, Galaxy's not as distracted. I hear a dog barking. My neighbor has a dog, so you might be hearing their dog. Sorry about that. Also, there's a chance to reincarnate and die is 50-50. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That'd be intense. Alright, so it looks like Galaxy's probably going to evolve here right away after eating that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go find Astro real quick. Maybe we can get a double evolution going. Get Astro and Galaxy to evolve side by side. So I definitely want to race Snow right away is what we'll be doing after this. Come on, Chop. Yeah, my neighbor's dog looks almost identical to Chop from uh, Grand Theft Auto V, if any of you played that game. Big uh, Rottweiler. <laughs> So the child won't hear you if you're far away. Yeah, I think I think that's the only reason the galaxy was like the only child that hurt us. I'm pretty sure other child love us. I mean, I hope they do. What's your neighbor's dog's name? Its name is Ares. I'm pretty sure it's like the god of destruction or something like that. So, uh, I mean, it's a fitting name for this big Rottweiler, but he's actually a really nice dog. He's really cute. I like to pet him. And wow, galaxy looking pretty cool. And there we go. We got to Astro evolving too. So there we go, we got Astro and Galaxy Evolved back to back. And yeah, Galaxy's look pretty cool. I'm liking those colors. I thought it was Chomp. <laughs> I want my cat Boo's uh, here to check out these evolving chow. Hey, Boo. You wanna say hi, Boo? Oh, <laughs> not sure if you can hear her. Ares is the Greek god of war. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what uh, my neighbor named their dog after. You have a white hero chow named Snow like yours, but it's monotone. Well, that's cool. Yeah, Galaxy's awesome. Galaxy's a chow will also be raising, I think, to be pretty strong. And there's Astro. I guess I forgot to raise Astro properly. I'm pretty sure we... What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Pretty sure we made, meant to make Astro, like, a dark... Uh, a dark swim, but... Uh, or dark... I don't even remember what we were trying to make Astro, but screwed that up, I guess. We just got to plain dark chow, so. There you go, there's Astro. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll use the chow editor and change the typing there. A little bit of a goof. 
but uh, Astro's still looking cool. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll we'll focus on that later. We got other cooler things to focus on. And that is Galaxy looking awesome, real cool there. And we got Snow, who's now ready to be raised super strong. So I think we should try and max out the running and the flying, and then upgrade those really fast. Yeah, how though? I honestly got no idea how Astro came out as a neutral, because I definitely raised flying and then swim like a ton. So it definitely should have gone one, or one way or the other, but I'm not totally sure. But I'm going to quickly save. Just don't want to lose my progress before I start doing anything more. Yeah, I thought Astro was supposed to be a dark swim too, so that's... Actually, maybe I'll just pull up in the chat editor right now real quick and uh, do some fixing. Let's see. Yeah, so we'll... We'll change Astro to a dark swim, I think was what we originally intended. Sure, let me go back into the garden. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do with the editor. Oh, I can give myself rings. <laughs> we're going to cheat a whole bunch of rings in. <laughs> so we're at 17,000 right now. Nope, we're going 9999, baby. We're getting a ton of rings. Okay, Astro. Astro's currently dark normal. We're going to change that to dark swim. Okay. So let's go into the garden. Let's see if that worked. Hopefully you guys are cool with uh, me cheating a little bit. I think it, uh, it's made the series a little bit more exciting because uh, because of cheats, we are able to get a jewel child like Rose. Uh, so where even is Astro? Am I just blind? Oh, here's Astro. So there we go. Astro. Ah, this is Astro. Astro evolved just like this. Astro. What? Dark neutral? What? Or dark normal? That? What are you talking about? That never happened. <laughs> There's Astro looking all uh, all cool. <laughs> Flying swimmer on the same bar, so you probably accidentally evened out the typing. But like, see, I I know we, I know they're on the same bar, but I thought that I like. By raising up, because I think it did flying first and then swimming. I thought raising it all the way to level 50 would have been, like, like way more than enough to, like, completely max or, like, get rid of that previous influence. But I guess I was wrong. So, here we go. Totally did not cheat his lag. <laughs> when you change Astro Dark Sun Air, does his grade change too? Since he evolved... Oh, yeah, you're right. His uh, stamina would have gone up. Let's see. What are Astro stats? Great. So, right now, Astro has a C... And swim a D and fly a B and run a C and power and a B and stamina. So we'll drop that stamina back to a C. We'll have to swim to B. Forgot how bad Astro's grades were. Astro's not a particularly strong chow. <laughs> Dark swim chow look like ninjas. Yeah, they do. Dark swim chow are super cool. I think they look awesome. Look at the band. I think I missed it. Whoops. Also, I'll just be one sec. I'm pretty sure I'm about to sneeze. Whew, okay, that was a big sneeze. I'm glad I made my mic for that. <laughs> Sorry about that. That brief pause there. Didn't, uh, I think you guys probably want to hear me sneeze in a whole bunch. Anyways, uh, let's see, uh, I missed a message there. 1v3 said, probably in a Chow Garden Nuzlocke, only way to lose is, like, a time system like Majora's Mask. The only way to reset it is to get a new Chow, evolve a Chow, or have a Chow die. That'd be an interesting idea. You should have called it Dark Swim Chow Naruto. <laughs> Gesundheit. <laughs> Thank you, Viper Timber. Thank you, 1v3. Very kind. Okay, so let's uh, get working on snow. Let's get uh, the fly and run up. We'll max these out, and then we'll go upgrade them, and then we'll actually, like, race snow really strong. And then, hopefully, snow will be the chow to save us and to finish all of the newer child races and actually beat them. <laughs> That's the plan, anyways. The current plan. All right, let's, uh, let's get into it. It'll probably take a little while, but it shouldn't be too bad. It gives me time to just sit and read chat, because you don't really have to pay too much attention doing this. Time to make Snow a champion. Yeah, for sure. Snow is going to hopefully be quite a bit stronger than Tide. Snow having like the already pretty good stamina grade definitely helps out a lot. When I started playing this game, this game again when I was older, I was amazed at all the chow types there were. Yeah, when I was younger, I didn't like get like a full grasp on like how in-depth this like game actually was like despite just being like a little side mini game in Sonic Adventure 2 it's like surprisingly like really in-depth 
so that's something I definitely discovered too as I got a little bit older. Snow versus Tide, that'd be kind of a fun race to do eventually. We'll probably wait till Tide reincarnates, because uh, I don't think we'll be raising Tide up to be real strong again right away, but uh, no, that's a good idea that we could do eventually. Oh, whoops, sorry, Zer. Oh, Zer just wanted to sleep. <laughs> All right. Let's see, how many people do we have in the stream right now? I haven't checked in a while. We're at 19. Nice. That's a good viewer count. Thank you, everyone, who's uh, still here after an hour and a half. Sticking around in the stream. When I was younger and played the game, I mean, all of my chat would be pink for no reason. Probably because of breeding reasons. Oh, you just <laughs> just had one pink chat. Also, thank you, uh, Fui, for the another four ninety nine super chat. Really appreciate it. The fifteen dollars month for me is ten. I'll donate one eighty dollars. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the uh, the prices for the uh, the Chow tiers there are in Canadian. So if your currency is not Canadian, it's probably a little bit cheaper actually. Cause Canadian dollars not really worth a whole lot. First place game in 2006, love it ever since. It's about how long I've been playing it too. I think I maybe started slightly before you, but I've also been playing for a while. But thank you so much, Fui, for the super chat. Let me quickly up that amount. We'll put you at, uh, I'll put it at 9.99. There we go. So thank you, Fui. Really appreciate it. I have to up this other one by five dollars. 276. I'll put this at 281, and then 208. Put us at 2.13, whoops. So thank you, Flea. I'll see if I can get my cat to, to come back here. Flea's the Mr. Beast in this. <laughs> That's pretty accurate, you know, giving away uh, homes and super chats and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Chet, just found your channel this week, so I'm starting my first Chow Garden. I realized watching your old New Year's stream that we're the same age, pretty cool. Thanks for uh, watching the stream, Chet. Yeah, that New Year's stream is really long that old. I think that one was like five or six hours or something. That was a really long stream. Yeah, thank you so much, Flea, for being both a Chaos Chow member and uh, for all your super chats. Really appreciate it. And yeah, Snow was just walking in circles weirdly there, LC Sonic. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Mr. Flea. <laughs> Oop. Keep pushing jump instead of uh, the action button on accident. Here, I'm going to try calling my cat. I'll see if uh, I can get her to come back and meow. She's a pretty good cat. She comes, like, like she comes running up to me pretty much every time I call her. That is really awesome. Not a lot of cats do that, so I'm gonna check calling her. Boo! Come here, Boo! Oh, she's coming. Come here, Boo! Hey! Come say hi! <laughs> hey, Boo! Hello! You meow for us? Yeah, I got, uh, got my cat here. She's purring. I don't know how well you can hear her, but, uh, She's my baby. I love my, my cat. Very special to me. <laughs> my cat is a calico cat. Oh my gosh, uh, thank you, William. Oh my gosh. $5 super chat, thank you so much. Oh, for the meows. Let's see if I can get her meow again. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. She mostly just meows when she's coming up to me. She's usually pretty quiet once I'm actually like holding her. and She's like in my arms. Yeah, her name is Boo, just like uh, the kid. there but oh, yeah boo unplugged my mic there on accident but uh yeah she's she's an awesome cat i really like boo she's uh she's my baby she's very special yeah she's a calico cat she's a little bit undersized she's a little small we uh rescued her so but no, she's super cute she's really awesome but yeah thank you william for your super chat here i'll add you up with uh flea there william whoops william bolding with the Five dollars super chat. Thank you so much, William. Really appreciate that. William and Fui, you both rock. You guys are awesome. And hey, Xavier. Thanks for stopping by the stream. You have a calico cat. Her name is Cleo, and I put a photo of her in the Discord. Awesome. I'll have to check that out after the stream. You should have to pay pet rent. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky the place I'm living at right now uh, doesn't charge any extra for cats, but I'm pretty sure... Once our lease is up, we'll be moving, and I'll probably have to deal with a pet fee, but it'll be worth it for Boo. I uh, don't think I could... Uh, I definitely would never get rid of her to go live in a place. She's 
She means the world to me, so. I'm, uh. Yeah, Boo's awesome. I, I love my cat. <laughs> yeah, cats are awesome. Hopefully, uh, you can find a situation where you can get one, William. They are seriously awesome. Some cats are better than others, but, uh, pretty much all cats are awesome. Especially if they're your own cat, because, uh, Seeing other people's cats, you know, sometimes they're not the nicest, but it's usually just because they aren't comfortable around you or don't know you very well. But once you have your own cat and they really love you and are comfortable with you, it's uh, it's quite the experience. I've had a few cats in my life and uh, loved all of them very much. Very special. Definitely a cat person. <laughs> Still like dogs. I'm definitely not like anti-dog, but I'm a big cat fan for sure. Yeah, thank you so much, William, for your super chat. Thank you, Flea, also. Thank you, Dawes and Viper Sniper, for becoming Chaos Chow members. Appreciate that so much for both you guys. For anyone else considering a membership, some more information there on the top left. Prices are probably a little bit cheaper, depending where you live. And uh, you get some pretty cool perks, too. You get access to some pretty cool emotes. Not a lot of people actually use them in the chat, but uh, I think they're pretty cool. You've had cats all your life. Just haven't had pets for the last 10 years. Ah. Yeah, hopefully you can get a cat again soon. That'd be cool. You want a burb? <laughs> Birds are pretty cool. I've seen, uh, I think Raiden on uh, the Discord shared a few pictures of their bird. I hope I'm remembering the right person. I think there's a few people on the Discord that uh, have birds. And if you aren't on the channel Discord, consider joining. It's currently the pinned message at uh, the top there. It's a fun little community in there, so consider joining. People sharing pictures of their animals, talking about Chow, talking about Nintendo games. A lot of fun stuff in there, so consider joining if you have a Discord. When do I think I'll hit 8k? Oh, my gosh. I got no idea. Hopefully sometime soon, but I'm not too sure. My friend is getting a pet lizard tomorrow. Ooh, that's exciting. It's me. You have a bird. Okay, I do. I'm glad I remembered correctly. I, her name is Tetra. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember because she had the... Yeah, that name's awesome, Tetra from Wind Waker. I think you said that's what you named her after, too, so that, that's really cool. Alright, it's taking a little while to race snow. I don't think I'll... Maybe I won't race snow too much longer, because if I do actually race snow, like, all the way to level 9, 9 in both those stats, it'll, like, take a really long time. And it's probably not the most exciting stream content, so... Maybe that's something I'll do off-stream, but... For now, we can already see snow's becoming one of our stronger chow. Pretty cool. You got access to your pogo. Awesome, Thanatos. Birds are weird. You wouldn't like to own one because they can be too loud sometimes. Yeah, some of them are loud, but uh, I think they're still pretty cool, too. You're going to get an axe axolotl? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Two cats, two dogs, and a snake. Whoa. It's, uh, it's a lot of animals there. That's pretty cool. You want a pet chow? I always wanted a pet chow as a kid. Having a chow be really cool. Do some stages, maybe? I was thinking about maybe doing some more races. Or maybe we could go mess around and uh, try uh, some weird modded stages. Let's see. Because with the character select mod, I can add or bring in characters that wouldn't normally be able to bring into stages. Like for Metal Harbor, I could play with Chaos, for example. Axolotl is what a whooper is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's try, Let's try Metal Harbor as Chaos. I tried Metal Harbor before as uh, the Chow Walker, and it didn't work. But I think it's Chaos. We should be able to beat this stage, especially since we can climb on walls. <laughs> Chaos just running, cooking her. You have a Chow plushie named Benji along with 100 Pokemon plushies. <laughs> I used to have a lot of Pokemon plushies, too. I had, I think, pretty much every evolution at one point. I don't have them anymore, but uh, Chow plushies are... Really cool. I've always wanted a chow one. <laughs> Might want a pet monkey. Oh my gosh. Pet monkey would be cool. Chaos won't work for Metal Hover. Oh, you're totally right. Yeah, I won't be able to get the rocket. Okay, well, we'll keep going anyways. We'll at least do most of this stage. Yeah, I completely forgot the rocket was even on this stage. But at least we can do most of the stage. We can definitely do better than we did uh, with the chow walker. The chow walker before it didn't even get close. You can learn sign language, watch your videos. <laughs> Let's see, can we climb on this? Oh no, we can't climb on the rocket! Oh no, we're dead. Ah, Wait, Chaos dies in water. 
<laughs> okay. Well, that was interesting. Let's go do some races. We'll do that, I think. We had a hero normal child in statics, and she runs fast like heck. Wow. We have all the evolutions and all of the first form stars. Well, that's really cool. I used to have a Pipla plushie. I don't know what happened to you. I think maybe one of my friends stole it or something, because I definitely don't think I ever intentionally got rid of it, but I just, like, don't have it anymore. I don't know what happened to it. So, a bit bummed out about that. Anyways, let's try some hero races. Who's our best racer here? Probably Nova. Let's see. How far are we? Oh, Death Troops. Oh my gosh. A little bit scary there. Can kind of speak monkey? <laughs> how, how does one speak monkey? It's, uh, I'm not sure how you'd speak that, but uh, it's impressive if you can, I guess. Becomes one with the ocean. Yeah, chaos. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Hopefully Nova can win this race. Looks like Nova's faster than the Death Troopers, so... Nova should be able to pull through with the W, I think. It's really just the running stat that's the most important. If your Chow's a faster runner than the other Chow in the race, then... For the most part, you should be good, I think, so... I wonder if anyone plays FNAF here. Five Nights at Freddy's. Played it before, yeah. It's a good time. Bought some Pokemon cards this morning. First time I was able to buy some in months because of the prices. The prices of Pokemon cards go up a lot. Also, I'm curious, did you buy like uh, like an actual like pack, like new Pokemon cards, or are you talking like uh, you bought like some on uh, like specific cards on like a website or something? Because I didn't realize that uh, the prices had ch like been affected by. Uh, I'm guessing COVID's probably why they're different, but I'm not sure. First Pokemon plushie was a Piplup, actually. Wow, it's a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh, that's cool. It has a green bow tie. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll say, yeah, Nova's just crushing this race. Good job, Nova. Got an elite trainer box off of one of the new sets. Oh, okay. Yeah, the box is going to be pretty pricey, yeah, uh, yeah, hopefully you got some uh, good pulls out of that. I spent $400 on some Pokemon cards. Oh, I've spent in my lifetime probably over $1,000 on Pokemon cards. Probably even more. I haven't bought Pokemon cards in a long time, but... Uh, I used to buy them pretty regularly when I was younger. Although I did buy some a few years ago. Definitely had some pretty cool EX cards that I was pretty happy about. I remember getting a, uh, I don't know if I'm using the exact, like, correct lingo or terms, but I remember getting one of the full, like, EX cards where the Pokemon takes up, like, the full card. That was awesome. I, like, didn't even know those were a thing when I got one, so that was pretty exciting. Although I think the crappy part of it was, I think it was for, uh, Oh, what's the Pokemon called? It's like Malata or something. It's like one of the legendaries that's like a singing Pokemon, I think. Oh, I feel like I should know the name. I think it was Malata or something like that. Everyone has all of your Pokemon cards right now. Ordered off eBay. Okay. Hopefully it gets there soon in four days, but uh, a full RDX. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You have a 55 Charizard and Reshiram full art card. Wow. Meloetta, okay, that, yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, I got one of the full art EX cards of that one. I think that was the only full art EX I ever got. Or maybe it was just an X, because I know it was like EX and then there's uh, X. I still have that card? I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't. Should I have some shiny hunting streams? I mean, that's something I was considering doing, because I am going to be doing the Nuzlocke stream here soon. And not every episode is just going to be going through and beating gyms. Also, for, um,. Uh, for the Pokemon Nuzlocke, I'm planning on doing longer streams than I'm doing for Chow. Uh, like, I might do one whole stream that's just, like, trying to shiny hunt, or one whole stream just, like, grinding. Like, I'm planning to do longer streams for that than I do for Chow. I just feel like Pokemon's a little bit easier to consume in, like, such a large, like, um, sitting. Whereas Chow... Ch I'm not gonna lie, like, Chow, after a few hours, gets uh, a little bit repetitive for me, so I like to take breaks to try not to burn myself out. Whereas I know Pokemon's still kind of a lot of the same thing over and over again, but, uh... It's a little bit newer for me, so I'm excited to do some longer Pokemon streams. But yeah, supply and demand is outrageous for Pokemon cards at the moment. Wow. Your friend has, like, three of the rare Charizards. Like, the original, uh, like, first edition Charizards. Wow. Um, maybe that's not what you mean, but uh, rare Charizards. That's pretty cool. Shining hunting is a lot easier than Sword and Shield. 
Okay. One of the newer Pokemon trading card game sets has shiny Pokemon in it. Wait, really? I remember I once got a shiny uh, Mew card back in the day. I'm pretty sure I sold it for, like, not even close to what it's worth. But at one point I had a shiny Mew. It was, like, this really cool blue card. It even had, like, a little, like, golden star on the top of it. That was, I think, one of my favorite uh, Pokemon cards I ever had. Fortunately, I no longer have it, but uh, it was pretty cool. You can't do shiny hunting in Nuzlocke. You'll say, oh, that's right. You want to catch the first Pokemon you trap? I still might do it anyways, just uh, at certain points, just for fun. But uh, I may not even use the Pokemon in the series, but that's something I might think about doing. So that shiny hunting. Even though it's slightly breaked in the rules, I think uh, it's something that people would be interesting to see. Even though, yeah, shiny hunting in, uh, in Platinum or in Heart Gold is definitely like not as easy as in some of the newer games. You still, <laughs> you still remember, yeah. Oof, I feel bad about that. Yeah, I definitely stole your your cool Darkrai level X card. I think I eventually gave it back. I hope I did. I don't know. But yeah, sorry, Kenzie. I def your Darkrai card was too cool. It was... Yeah, I apologize for that, Kenzie. You had a really cool Darkrai card. If I ever get another Darkrai Pokemon card, I'll make sure to give it to you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Getting outed for being a... I didn't give it back. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Kenzie. I'll... I'll buy you some, like, chicken nuggets next time we hang out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Shining Fates is the elite trainer box. I got, I got one with the shiny Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. Ancient Mew cards? Oh, the ones from, like, uh... You're talking about the ones from, like, Burger King or from, like... Maybe it was from a movie. I can't remember. I don't know what you're talking about. Darkrai is your favorite mythical Pokemon? Darkrai is awesome. Darkrai is super cool. So that's 100% why I stole Kenzie's Darkrai card. <laughs> Darkrai is super cool. And there we go again. Emblem. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've gotten an emblem in the series. I haven't really played much of the actual stages or advanced really at all in the chat races. Let's see. Can we win like the last Dark Race? I don't remember how far I even got here. Oh, don't freeze on me, game. You'll take the chicken nuggets? Okay. Oh, all right. I almost lost the game there. Okay, so Azur, uh, Azur is probably not going to be able to beat the Dark Chaos Chow. Sapphire might? Let's try Sapphire. How long do you think the stream will be? Dark Rai is amazing. I also have a Shiny Deoxys. Shiny Deoxys is pretty cool. How long will the stream be? I think we'll probably call it around the two hour mark, so I'll probably go for another little over ten minutes. But yeah, thank you so much everyone who's been here for the entire stream. I know most of you have been, like most of you that are still here have been here for, since the start, so... I really appreciate all of you, and especially major shout out to Dawes, and Viper Sniper, and William, and Fui. You guys all rock, so thank you so much for your support, your super chats, your memberships. You rock. Did I save recently? I think I saved before the last race, uh, before this one, so hopefully we're all good. No more crashes. I don't think we'll lose any major progress if it does crash, so we'll see. Mark my words, though. Maybe I say that, and then we end up losing all of our chat. <laughs> I don't know. Eighth chow looks like Nova. I missed it, but I'll try and keep an eye out. Actually, I should be able to... If I put eight... Oh, yeah, it does look like Nova. Yep. Looks pretty similar. Nova used to look exactly like that, but then we changed it to more of, I think, a flying type. This is pretty cool, being able to move around the camera. This is a new code I enabled here. Yeah, I'm glad you're able to be here too, William. It's nice that uh, so many people have been here for the stream. I really appreciate all of you guys stopping and hanging out and playing some chat with me. It's a good time. I miss when there was an actual event around Mythical Pokemon and I just give it to you. Yeah, although at the same time it kind of sucked when you played like a game like years later or like not like right when it was a brand new thing and like you just can't get that Pokemon no matter what. Like for example, I've always wanted to get a legit Arceus and I just like... Never got to, because I never got the Azure Flute when, uh, I think that's what it's called. The Azure Flute. Some kind of flute to get Arceus, so. I don't know. I don't know, I, I agree with what you're saying, uh, there, Bone, but I think there also is some appeal to just giving it to everyone, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to say, I guess. There's not really one way that will keep everyone happy, I guess. Because you want to keep the mythical Pokemon, you know, rare and exciting, but at the same time... I still want to give it to people so that they can experience it and have fun with that Pokemon. So, I don't know. It's kind of a hard uh, hard situation to make everyone happy in. 
<laughs> it's been here since the start of the old series. Wow. Remember Dash and Poncho? Did I not trade you a legit Arceus? You might have at one point. I mean, like, I never caught one myself. Maybe you did. I can't remember. So let's try Sapphire. We'll see if Sapphire can beat out the last race here. Tornado's probably your favorite from the old series. Tornado's definitely my favorite from the old series. Tornado is awesome. Tornado. I think Casper was pretty cool. I think that's the name of the child that uh, was invisible. They never used the flute. It went unused and just went with giving it to you. Oh, okay. I thought you could get a legit Arceus in, like, maybe not in, like, Pokemon Pearl or Diamond, but I thought you could get one legitly in, like, Heart Gold, maybe? Yeah, my game got some issues of <laughs> Bubbly. I'm, uh, working on it. I'm going to try and upgrade my computer soon. Thankfully, uh, the Super Chats and the memberships really helped that out. Um, really helped uh, me uh, upgrade my stream setup. I got a f newer gaming chair, largely thanks to Fui and Devin, so thank you. It's pretty much a, I think it's a knockoff DX racer, pretty much. It's really comfy. I really like it. So thank you, Flea. And thank you, Devin. I don't think Devin's here in the stream, but thank you, you guys. You both really rock. Um, uh, what was, I'm trying to read. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure with the events you could get a legit Arceus, but I'm not sure. And yeah, you're right, William. They make us work such shiny selfie in Pokemon Go. Yeah, I fully completed that, uh, like, quest with Professor, uh, Oh, what's his name even? I can't even remember what the professor's name in Pokemon Go. But, uh, yeah, no, I've got the shiny Celebi. I've completed most of, like, the main, like, research quests. I think there's some of the newer ones I haven't finished yet, but, uh, yeah. Getting that shiny Celebi is a, a little bit of work. You can get Arceus in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. That's cool. You have to be able to get Arceus in the new Pokemon Legends game. Hmm. Pokemon Legends. Wait, is that is that a new game that's coming out? I'm not sure if I've heard of Pokemon Legends. Maybe I'm a little bit behind uh, on the times. Professor Willow. Yeah, that's it. I knew it was something that sounded outdoorsy. Like a plant or something, but I could not remember. <laughs> Working on the shiny Mew search. Oh, okay. I haven't actually paid. I've not, like, paid a single cent in Pokemon Go. I've thought about buying a few of the like extra researches and uh, like some of the community day like research stuff, but I still haven't put a single cent into Pokemon Go. I'll actually pull up my Pokemon Go here real quick while we're, we're racing. Uh, I'll go over some of my Pokemon I got since we're all talking about it. Sapphire looks awesome. Yeah, Sapphire is super cool. Sapphire is definitely one of my favorite chows in, uh, or child in this series. Sapphire is just boss. Not a very fast swimmer, but uh, otherwise pretty cool. <laughs> All Pokemon professors are named after trees? What? Is that actually true? What about Professor Rowan? Is Because that's in Gen 4. Is there a Rowan tree that I don't know about? Because there's Oak, Willow. Um, oh, my Pokemon goes out of date. I need to install an update before I can play it. I love that they incorporated the Deoxyphant into the actual game in Omega and Alpha. I haven't actually tried that yet at uh, uh, the uh, Deoxys event. I haven't played. Uh, uh, I haven't played Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire in quite a while. By two cool mods for Tower Extended Color Mixing and Randomized Child Bases. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll have to look into that LC Sonic. I've definitely seen the Color Mixing mod. That's one I've seen. I think I actually have it. Uh, like, like I, Tower Extended. Yeah, I definitely have both the mods we're talking about, but. Uh, no, I'll have to consider turning those on. It's pretty cool. Rowan is a tree. What? Okay, I feel dumb now. I probably shouldn't have known that. <laughs> I need to free up space. I need to delete games on my phone to install this update. What? I didn't realize it was at, like, my, uh... My phone capacity. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, hopefully my Pokemon Go updates here. But anyway, so we just finished the Hero and Dark Races. Finally took 18 parts of the series before we finally did that. Uh oh, games freezing. Let's see, hopefully, we're not crashing. Okay, let's just save before we have a chance to lose everything. <laughs> have you seen the new Pokemon Direct? I haven't. I haven't. I need to uh, check it out. I've heard about it. I know that there's like the new Pearl and uh, Diamond remakes, but I haven't uh, seen a whole lot else besides that. You want to see new child color types? That'd be cool if they uh, redid Sonic Adventure 2. Their codes, not mods. Yeah, sorry. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. 
Uh, I definitely, I definitely have quite a few codes on, but I don't have like all of them enabled. It's the biggest one yet. Okay, I'll have to check that out, Dos. Thanks for uh, telling me about that. All right, so I'm gonna open my Pokemon Go. I'll check out some of my Pokemon here. And if there's any Chaos Chow members on uh, the stream here that would like to add me, feel free to. Or uh, if you want to put in your name, I can add you. I know William's here and plays Pokemon Go, so I'll add you, William, for sure. If you're cool with adding me, that is. If you want to be friends on Pokemon Go. Anyways, oh, watch out. <laughs> Don't want to hit uh, Willy there with our uh, spinning tails. Be happy to add me? Awesome. Pokemon Legends going to be coming out early 2022. Okay, so let's see. I just loaded up my Pokemon Go. So yeah, I'm level 38. I'm about a little bit more than a third of the way to level 39. Let's see. What are my strongest Pokemon here? Let's see. You'll bring up your code. Okay. So my strongest Pokemon, I got a Slacking that's 4,000 CP. Salamence is my next strongest at 3,700. And I got a 3,700 Metagross. See. Got shiny mammoth swine that's 3,000. That's a pretty decent Pokemon, I think, for being level 38. <laughs> oh, we got an egg hatching. Also, oh my gosh, Galaxy's playing a piano. Playing the neutral child garden music, that's cool. I don't think I've actually uh, heard a child play that yet on the piano, that's cool. Should get the monster evolution code it exaggerates the evolution of the stack raise in question is beyond 2000. I have, I've seen that code. Um, I've thought about it. One of the things I wanted to do with mods though for this game is I didn't really want to, um, I still wanted the game to like feel like, like vanilla. Okay. Yeah. Cool. If you guys want to put your codes in the discord, I'll add you guys afterwards. But, um, with the mods in this game, my main intention was to try and keep the game still feeling somewhat vanilla, not like really modding it too crazily. Just adding stuff for the most part that maybe was like excluded from the game that sh was meant to be in it in the first place, or like having 16 chow in the garden. So I'm not too sure about the monster evolutions, but uh, I'll definitely consider it. I've seen like some of the stuff that monster evolutions can do, and I've seen some like pretty, pretty weird looking chow to be honest. So I don't know. I've thought about it, but uh, I uh, really like the amount of uh, mods and codes I currently got. I don't know if you have a Switch or Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, I've got both of those. Animal Crossing New Horizons is a, a lot of fun. It's a good game. Yeah, that's why, yeah, mostly quality of life stuff, like making it easier to raise the chow. Um, you know, I had the Dreamcast Gardens on for a while. Honestly, I think I meant to have them on for this stream, but just kind of forgot to turn it on. But um, mostly stuff just to make the game a little bit more accessible and, uh, you know, fixing, like, the bright chow glitch. Yeah, it's, farming all the rings would be terrible, so definitely cheat in the rings <laughs> i do not have the free time to ring grind anymore so just spawning in like 999,000 rings it's a lot easier all right awesome william i'll definitely add you as soon as the stream's over oops i already snow a little bit more here before the end okay friend you on switch we can visit islands yeah we can maybe do that um i don't even remember my switch like online username is to be honest I think it might be a bit of a dumb meme name, so they'll probably judge me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, sure. If uh, if you're a channel member and want to add me on Pokemon Go, you can add it on the Discord. If you're not on the Discord channel, there's uh, a link in the pinned message at the top of the chat. And I'll add you there if you want to throw that uh, code in the members section. I'll DM my friend code. Okay, that sounds good. Wait, can I visit your garden? What do you mean, visit my garden? Like, here? Snow looks like a living crystal. Yeah, snow's looking pretty cool. Oh, your island? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could visit my island on Animal Crossing. I mean, to be honest, it's mostly my girlfriend's island. She's done, like, a lot of the decorating, and I'm pretty sure she's played Animal Crossing a little bit more recently than I have, but, uh... No, like, I, I put some work into it. It's still a little bit my island, too. But Animal Crossing New Horizons is really cool, because you can have two different people playing on the same island. It's really cool. Also, see you, Emerald. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out in the stream. Hope you have a good night. Yeah, the multiplayer in Animal Crossing New Horizons awesome. I really like that they added that in. 
Uh, it's super nice being able to play as two different characters on the same island. You know, have our own houses that we're saving up for and stuff. Buffering super hard. Oh no. Can you also add me on Switch? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to see. I'll I'll let you guys know. I honestly don't even know if my like Switch still has like the online membership. <laughs> you can gift to, like a hundred million bells. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's a lot. Burn myself out in Animal Crossing came out. Don't know it anymore, but I still have my save file. Yeah, I kind of burned myself out quite a bit, too. My girlfriend and I played it a lot, like, right at the start of the pandemic. I haven't really played it a whole lot since. But uh, over the summer, uh, this past summer, we had a lot of fun playing it. Island isn't the best, but I remade Palatown Room House. Oh, that's cool. Dude, oh my god, I legit grew up watching your vids. Thanks so much. It's been so long. Happy you're back. Thanks for watching, John Ray. John Ray Batista. <laughs> like that username. Yeah, no, thanks for watching. I'm uh, glad you're enjoying the series. So, yeah, I think we'll end, on, we'll end it here pretty soon. But I think what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly get Snow up to level 99. And then we'll upgrade that run grade. And then we'll end it after that, I think. I used the glitch that was used back then. Oh, for duplicating bells? <laughs> Yeah, most of the bells I've gotten have just been from working the uh, the stock market or the turnip market. Made uh, some pretty big in, uh, returns there. Got pretty lucky a couple times where I invested a whole crap ton and then the turnips were now selling for like 255, which I believe was the max that it can go. So got a little bit lucky there a few times. Are you using disable level limit? I'm not currently using it, but. Uh, that is something I've thought about using. Uh, I considered using that for Tide before so that we had a chance to actually finish uh, that race we were stuck on. All right, so let's upgrade this. Which button is it? Oh, there we go. So we got Snow up to a B and run. And we'll definitely do the same for Fly. So I think what for Snow will end up, um, I think the final grades we'll go with for snow before we start like actually like full on raising them will be an A in swim, a B in flying, a B in running, and then the two S's. So it'll be our strongest child by quite a lot. You can see snow's still like a baby. The lifespan's still completely full because we evolved them almost immediately. But uh, yeah, no, uh, snow's looking great. <laughs> Turns the way to make money. Sorry to disappoint, by the way. I know it's cheap to use glitches. No, like. I'm cool with glitches. I mean, do you, do you see what I'm doing here with raising these chow? <laughs> like, I am not raising these chow legitly. Sometimes it uh, is definitely worth it to cheat and use glitches, so. Yeah, Snow's looking good. So between this part and the next part in the live stream, I'll probably do most of the raising on Snow off screen just to save time so that we can have more screen time on, like, actual fun stuff. I think I will... Oh, Sapphire. Wow, look at that new badge on Sapphire. Not sure if I like it more than the last one we had, though. Let's quickly take a look at that. Let's see. So we can customize. Let's see, what uh, metals does Sapphire have? Hmm. I think that one looks the best. That uh, I think that's maybe Peridot. I'm not totally sure, but whatever that one is, I think we'll go with that metal. Looks a little bit cooler than the dark metal. Snow is awesome. Yeah, I really like snow, too. So there we go. Sapphire, even though uh, it was the champ of the dark races, I think that looks a little bit cooler for Sapphire's style. Yeah, there we go. So between this part and the next part, I'll definitely raise up snow a whole bunch. I'll maybe raise a poopoo a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll do some raising on Rose. I don't know, I'll probably do like a decent amount between this part and the next part just to get us ready. But I think the next part will probably be a live stream. We'll see. I personally like really prefer doing the live streams compared to... Uh, the regular videos. I hope you guys enjoy them too. So we'll see. He said the good buy option crying. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing I didn't accidentally hit that. But um, yeah, thank you so much everyone for stopping by and hanging out in the stream, playing some chat with me. I really appreciate it. Really enjoyed chatting with all of you. You guys all rock. Special thanks to Fui, William, Dawes, and Viper Sniper. You guys all rock. Thank you for the support you're bringing to this channel. And for anyone else that is considering becoming a member, uh, you know, thank you for even considering it, but if you do end up going through with it, I really appreciate you. And you will be getting a shout-out in my videos and stuff, so... With that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and uh, take care. See you guys.